Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. Job transfer for all. A hundred times more damage, all the monsters ran away. Chapter 81. Teacher Yan, my sophomore sister asked me to go over there. I'll go there first. Chen Shu said goodbye to Yan Bing politely. Yan Bing smiled and waved her hand and said, Go ahead, then I will go back and study the new equipment rewarded by the professional tower. Chen Shu smiled and waved his hand, then turned to look for Bai Wanya. Yesterday afternoon, after Yan Bing took Chen Shu out of the campus, Bai Wei sold Kai Feng Sao but found that Chen Shu could not be found. No matter how she dialed the communication bracelet, she couldn't get through to him. Junior, why don't you always wear a communication bracelet? Bai Wei asked doubtfully. Chen Shu smiled and explained, I felt uncomfortable wearing the communication bracelet, so I took it off. What's wrong, senior? Bai Wanya glanced at Chen Shu pretending to be angry. I have sold all the seven phoenix grasses and received a total of 144,000 dragon national coins. I think you deserve 100,000, I will keep 464. When Chen Shu heard Bai Wanya's distribution method, he immediately said firmly, we will divide it equally, I will get 72,000, this is my principle. Bai Wanya looked at Chen Shu with a resolute face, not knowing how to respond. Junior, you have paid the most in this dungeon. Senior sister, we are partners, there is no such thing as a gain or a loss. Bai Wuya shrugged helplessly and accepted Chen Shu's proposal. Bai Wuya wanted to transfer 72,000 of the 140,000 to Chen Shu, so she asked Chen Shu's bank account. Senior, it turns out that the communication bracelet has such a purpose. Junior, you don't know that communication bracelets can transfer money. I don't know. I had never come into contact with a communication bracelet before changing jobs. Then I bought a communication bracelet and didn't study it seriously. If you don't know, you just don't know. Chen Diao confessed his ignorance. There are other functions on the communication bracelet, I will learn them slowly in the future. Bai Wuya encouraged Chen Shu with a smile, and then patted his arm. Senior, what are your plans this afternoon? After resting last night, Chen Shu no longer needs to rest. If Bai Wuya has a suitable schedule, he is willing to participate. Bai Wuya thought for a few seconds and then said, I have nothing to do in the afternoon. I either go to farm seven phoenix grass or spend money to challenge the primary experience copy. Chen Shu suddenly became interested when he heard Bai Wuya mention spending money to challenge the junior dungeon. Senior, how much does it cost for a primary experience copy? Haiyu City is still under construction. If it opens up, you can go back and do it twice. Bai Wuya replied, the price is moderate, 1000 dragon country coins for professionals in the city, but we students have a discount, only 500 dragon country coins. Such a price is relatively cheap for high-level professionals, and there are thousands of ways to make money. However, for a fledgling small role, this price is a bit beyond the range of affordability. The level is low, the strength is poor, and it is impossible to face higher-level copies. At most it can withstand the challenge of easy and intermediate difficulty. If you want to upgrade your level, you need a lot of Dragon Country currency support. But for the current Chen Shu, this price is very cheap. Senior sister, I want to ask the principal if it is okay to lift the one-month ban on going out. Otherwise, I will really have nothing to do. In Longdu, there is no such rule. Nonsense, are there any new students in Longdu who are below level 20? The reason why our school has such a rule is because there are too many students below level 20. Senior sister, please wait a moment. I'll go talk to the principal and I'll be back soon to start clearing the primary experience copy. By the way, senior sister, why don't you call me Xiao Chen? Whatever you say, I do. Chen Shu trotted away, and Bai Wuya's voice came from behind. Principal's office. Chen Shu faced Principal Wei with a smile on his face. Classmate Chen Shu, although I can ask you to cancel this rule, I still recommend that you stay in school to be safer. Chen Shu explained his purpose to the principal, but the principal still hoped that Chen Shu could stay on campus and act cautiously. Principal, the young eagle must learn to fly after all, and the hunter must also leave the cabin and learn hunting skills. Although the flowers in the greenhouse are beautiful, they can only be reduced to cannon fodder on the war-torn battlefield. Principal Wei was a little surprised, not expecting Chen Shu to give such a thoughtful view. 
Classmate Chen Shu, aren't you worried about the assassins from the tennis temple? Chen Shu shook his head firmly. If he was afraid of wolves before and tigers later, how could he grow? Since Chen Shu is so determined to leave, I will immediately contact the Academic Affairs Office to apply for a student ID card for you. Thank you, Principal. I will be careful when I leave the school. Go on, go to the Academic Affairs Office and wait for a while. I will contact the Academic Affairs Office right away. Goodbye, Principal. Chen Shu smiled and bowed deeply to Principal Wei, turned around and left the principal's office. This kid is really restless. I hope you can survive smoothly. The future of the Dragon Kingdom depends on young people like you. After Chen Shu left, Principal Wei sighed with emotion and immediately contacted the Academic Affairs Office. Over there at the Academic Affairs Office, Chen Shu waited for more than 10 minutes. I got my student ID card. From then on, Chen Shu was able to enter and leave Donghai Vocational University freely without anyone blocking him. When he returned to the entrance of the villa, Bai Wuya sat boredly leaning against the tree next to the entrance. As soon as she saw Chen Shu coming back, Bai Wanya greeted him with a happy face. How's it going? Has the principal approved your application? Ha ha, now I can enter and exit the school freely. I no longer have to worry about students checking my student ID card. Chen Shu took out his student ID card and showed it off in front of Bai Wuya. Congratulations, I will hang out with my juniors next. Well, let's call Uncle Chen a few times and listen. Oh, do you really want to be an uncle that much? To tell you the truth, so many people call me Chen Shu, but no one thinks of calling me Uncle Chen. You have a broad mind. Stop talking, I am innocent and pure in heart. Discovering this shows that I am extremely intelligent. Let's go, I'm going to clear the primary experience dungeon and start the nightmare difficulty. Chen Shu shouted with a smile, put his hands in his pockets, and walked towards the school gate. Ouch, wait for me, I want to level up too. Bai Wuya quickly caught up, hugged Uncle Chen's arm tightly, and tried her best to press her whole body against Chen Shu's body. Senior, what are you doing? I'm afraid you'll run away. If you leave, who will take me to gain experience? The two walked toward the door talking and laughing. The student union members at the door were a little surprised to see Chen Shu and Bai Wuya. Bai Wuya is a sophomore student, and she is quite famous in her sophomore year. I have never heard that Bai Wuya is dating that boy. Senior Bai, is this your boyfriend? The senior of the student union looked at Chen Shu curiously and asked Bai Wuyato with a smile. Senior, he is a freshman. Today we are going to brush up on the primary dungeon together. School girl, you should know that freshmen cannot leave the campus for one month. The seniors of the student union began to act impartially. If there is any negligence in such things, the school will punish them. Senior, I have already applied for my student ID card, and the principal has given me permission to leave school to print a copy. Chen Shu didn't want to stop at the school gate and handed his student ID card directly to the seniors in the student union. The senior of the student union took the student ID card handed over by Chen Shu and read it carefully. Then returned the student ID card to Chen Shu. No problem, juniors can go out and brush dungeons, but please be careful, some professionals behave inappropriately. Thanks for the reminder, senior, I will be careful. Goodbye, senior. Bai Wuya politely said goodbye to the seniors in the student union, and then left the campus with Chen Shu. The primary experience copy is located in the north of Dongling City, where there is a branch of the Professionals Association. Just go to the Professionals Association and buy two teleportation tickets to get there quickly. After 20 minutes of tossing and turning, finally arrived at the entrance to the primary experience copy. Chen Shu carefully read the instructions on the stone tablet. The duration of this primary experience copy is three hours and can only be performed once per day. Judging from the current situation, this primary experience copy is slightly inferior to the copy in Haiyu City. Junior, let's start. Okay, let's challenge the nightmare difficulty. Chen Shu's level is level 35, while Bai Wuya's is level 36. The two have about the same experience, obviously the nightmare difficulty is the most appropriate. Chen Shu's words made other professionals in the queue curl their lips. Friends, the primary experience copy is also risky. It is nightmare difficulty. Are you really going to take this risk? 
That's true. Only the five of us 2.9 dared to challenge the difficult mode by teaming up. You two are really brave. This has nothing to do with us. I just want to see if they really chose nightmare difficulty. The archer from the rear team stepped forward to personally verify whether Chen Shu was talking. At this time, Chen Shu had successfully formed a team with Bai Wuya and did not care about other people's words and looks. He stretched out his hand and pressed it on the steel, decisively choosing the Nightmare Difficulty Experience copy. A dazzling white light instantly teleported the two of them to the inside of the copy. They really chose the Nightmare Difficulty dungeon. This pair is really brave. Stop talking nonsense, let's quickly enter the dungeon. What a shame, third brother, you were too hasty in urging me just now. I accidentally chose the easy difficulty level. You idiot, you've wasted a lot of experience. A small team entered the simple dungeon with a lot of fuss. It will be a very comfortable kill today, but the experience is relatively low. In a nightmare difficulty dungeon, Chen Shu clenched the Yan Ling Dao in his hand, his face full of excitement. Level 36. I don't know how many monsters I can kill to reach level 36. The dungeon is full of monsters. Chen Shu explores the monster's attributes. Tarantula. Level. 42. Constitution. 320. Strength. 1500. Agility. 240. Skills. Spider Silk Entanglement, Paralysis, Evasion. At this moment, Bai Wuya also concentrated on studying the properties of the bird spider. A cold sweat broke out on his back. If he was attacked by a bird spider, he would have a narrow escape. Time is like water, flowing quietly. Every time a monster is killed, it means gaining another valuable experience. Chen Shu immediately used the skill of sweeping thousands of armies, followed closely by the group skill of Dao Qi Zonggang. Both group skills go hand in hand. 130 hunting tarantulas were killed by Chen Shu's group attack skills. Congratulations on beating level 7 and killing a level 42 hunting tarantula, with an experience value of 357. Congratulations on beating level 7 and killing a level 42 tarantula, with an experience value of 357. The empirical data continues to roll in. Although it seems insignificant with only 357 experience points, Chen Shu's killing speed is astonishing. At this time, Ri Wu Wei stood there in a daze. Without the constraints of a team, Chen Shu could fight against these tarantulas on his own, and his leveling speed would be bound to increase rapidly. Senior, please don't be in a daze. The more you kill, the more experience you will gain. Be careful not to be attacked by the bird spider. Being attacked by it will cause paralysis. When Bai Wuya was in a daze, Chen Shu called out to her. Xiao Chen, I will do my best to protect myself, you can go all out. Chen Shu did not reply to Bai Wuya, but focused more on the Minister of Killing. Just wave the knife in your hand and you can easily kill a hunting tarantula. The faster you go, the more experience you accumulate. Bai Wuya from behind also started killing. After several large-scale spells, she began to use precise single-target spells. Due to Bai Wuya's low agility, she was unable to use kiting tactics and could only release spells in the safe area opened by Chen Shu. Although she was a little aggrieved, Bai Wuya was full of excitement. This was a nightmare difficulty experience copy, something she had never imagined before. After meeting Chen Shu, I actually had such an opportunity. Half an hour later, Bai Wuya began to take potions to restore her mana. During this period, Chen Shu doesn't have to worry at all. He has not lost even a little bit of health so far. The hunting tarantula has never been able to hit Chen Shu once. Today, Chen Shu's agility is so high that it far exceeds the attack response of a hunting spider. There was constant killing, and two hours had passed in the blink of an eye. Chen Shu's body glowed with a soft white light, and he was finally promoted to level 36. The original Chen Shu experience is level 35, 82%, which is only a short distance away from the experience required for upgrade. After killing many tarantulas, Chen Shu's experience finally reached 100%. Seeing that Chen Shu had successfully upgraded, Bai Wuya checked her experience and found that it was still level 36, 53%, which was still a long way from being upgraded. However, today's harvest has been extremely rich. When I first entered the dungeon, it was only level 36, 
There is still the last hour, so we must seize the opportunity no matter what. Never waste any precious time on monster farming. I don't know if it's due to Chen Shu's good luck, or if it's a unique feature of the Nightmare Difficulty Dungeon. When there was only half an hour left in the dungeon, Tarantula actually paused the refresh. Chen Shu had never encountered this situation before, even in the primary experience copy in Haiyu City. Senior sister, please stop slaying monsters for the time being and go to a safer area. I have a vague feeling that something is wrong, and something unexpected may happen. Upon hearing Chen Shu's reminder, Bai Wanya immediately stepped aside. Hold the staff tightly in your hand and stay alert at all times. The number of bird spiders in the dungeon gradually decreased until the last bird spider was captured by Chen Shu. At this time, no new tarantulas are spawned. There is not much time left before the end of that copy. But in the Nightmare Difficulty dungeon, it was so quiet that almost no movement could be heard. Copy outside. Five smiling professionals, four gathered together to sort out the goods, and one was busy setting up a stall. These five people are all main combat professionals, with the lowest level being level 60, and the highest level even reaching level 73. The clothes they were wearing were all of the same style, with a name, Longhuo Wireless Communications Company, Limited, printed on them. The more than a hundred professionals around them stopped grinding copies to gain experience, and gathered around to check the situation. The stall is not yet finished, but a billboard has been erected in the open space in front. In order to give back to the vast number of professionals, our company has launched the latest style communication bracelet. This new bracelet is lightweight, exquisite and fashionable in appearance, and has excellent video recording function. It is definitely worth your purchase. The communication bracelet originally priced at RMB 200,000 is now available at a special price of only RMB 108,000, and each professional is limited to one purchase. We also have a lucky draw where every professional present will have the opportunity to participate and win a high-end fashion bracelet worth RMB 300,000. The final interpretation right of this event belongs to us, Longhuo Wireless Communications Company, Limited. Longhuo Wireless Communications Company, Limited is the largest communications company in Longhuo. More than 90% of my country's communication bracelets come from this company. This company is actually controlled by two big families, one is the Fang family in Longdu, and the other is the Zhao family in Shanghai. The Fang family holds a total of 40% of the shares, while the Zhao family owns 51% of the shares. The remaining 9% is allocated to other small families. However, these small families have no say in the company's decision-making and operations. They are mainly responsible for annual dividends. In other words, they get money just by sitting at home. As a result, more than two dozen professional players began to line up in an orderly manner to prepare for purchases. If you can buy a communication bracelet and then resell it, you can make a small profit. If you can't sell it, you won't suffer any loss if you use it yourself. Boss, how many communication bracelets will you sell in total this time? A professional who wasn't waiting in line couldn't help but ask curiously. If there were only a few dozen communication bracelets, he didn't want to waste time queuing up. If the quantity is large, you can queue up to buy one. Everyone, please rest assured that in order to give back to the professionals, we will provide at least 500 communication bracelets this time. A professional who was sorting out the goods responded to the previous inquiry with a smile. Yes, I also want to join the queue. The communication bracelet on my wrist is very old and needs a new one. Another professional continued. I'm also going to queue up. I've been working hard these days to upgrade and gain experience, and I'm trying to earn money by killing monsters. In fact, I just want to buy a brand new communication bracelet. Come on, everyone, hurry up and line up. Suddenly, everyone seemed to have made an appointment, and all the professional players at the scene began to line up in an orderly manner. Of course, the real sales time has yet to come. The five of them have to wait until Chen Shu is about to release a copy before they can start taking action. In fact, they are not here to provide benefits to all professionals. Their real purpose was to give Chen Shu the communication bracelet with positioning function and tried their best to give it to him. As for the communication bracelet with a price tag of 108,000 yuan, they will actually not lose money at all. 
because their purchase price was only 100,000 yuan, and they still had a net profit of almost 8,000 yuan. Chen Shu has been in the dungeon for nearly three hours, and their stall will be gradually completed. Wait until Chen Shu comes out of the copy. Their sales activities will officially kick off. In a copy of Nightmare Difficulty, Chen Shu and Bai Wuya stood side by side, guarding their surroundings with solemn expressions. There are only five minutes left before copy 410 is closed. The space inside the copy suddenly twisted strangely. The corpses of the bird spiders they had killed earlier began to tremble slowly on the ground under this frightening force. Chen Shu and Bai Wuya stared blankly at the ground that was beginning to change. Bai Wuya's heart was filled with unexplainable uneasiness. Senior sister, will we be safe? She asked softly. A hint of trembling ripples caused by nervousness could be faintly heard in the voice. Of course, I will protect my senior sister. Bai Wuya felt a little more at ease when she heard Chen Shu's warm answer. However, a more terrifying situation emerged. A strong purple light instantly filled the entire nightmare copy like a flame. Bai Wuya couldn't help shouting, suddenly hugged Chen Shu next to her, and buried her head deeply in his arms. As far as I know, senior, you are not afraid of the dark. Why are you so afraid? Chen Shu asked with concern. Junior, actually, I am not afraid, but I am very resistant to the purple light. Bai Wuya said softly, her body still trembling slightly. When the rich light gradually faded, the body of the bird spider originally lying on the ground had disappeared without a trace. What replaced it was a huge and intimidating humanoid monster. If you don't look at the eight huge spider legs behind you, you will see a 10-meter-tall giantess in front of you. Bah, shameless, Bai Wuya cursed loudly. At this moment, Chen Shu was shocked to realize that the monster in front of him was wearing a very bold outfit, actually wearing a complete purple bikini. Moreover, she has a delicate face and a hot figure. The Tarantula Queen, level, 40, constitution, 6,000, strength, 15,000, agility, 3,700, skills, spider silk strangulation, charming blow, venom invasion, summon spider swarm. Chen Shu is focusing on exploring the properties of the Spider Queen. Next to her, Bai Wuya was also immersed in studying the attributes of the Spider Queen. The two showed completely different expressions. Chen Shu's face was full of excitement and excitement. The queen in front of him has undoubtedly become a porter of equipment. There may be a chance to reveal a piece of precious golden equipment. Bai Wuya beside him could not help but tremble. The queen's blow could easily kill him instantly. Those who harm my people will be killed without mercy. The tarantula queen is not a snarky monster. It started beeping for ten minutes, and then was killed in one second. The tarantula queen speaks short words, but does the cruelest things. She only said one word and launched an attack on Chen Shu and Bai Wuya. At this critical moment, Chen Shu decisively pushed Bai Wan Yao, allowing him to bear all the attacks alone. Minus 9125. Minus 912,500. Human being, I will remember you. When the tarantula queen was killed, she stared hard at Chen Shu. She wanted to remember this extremely hateful human being at all times. Mom sells batches, come back if you have the guts. Chen Shu raised his middle finger to the tarantula queen who was gradually disappearing. At this moment, Bai Wanya got up from the ground in a panic and saw Chen Shu still standing there intact. The tarantula queen has long since disappeared without a trace. Two shiny golden boxes appeared on the ground. Senior sister, let's hurry up and open these boxes. We have another fruitful harvest today. Good luck is rolling in. Bai Wuya sprinted towards Chen Shu. Time was running out, and the two opened the golden treasure box without hesitation. Two bright golden rays of light rose into the sky. After the light dissipated, Chen Shu carefully examined a scepter inside the box. Queen's Scepter, Quality, Gold, Attribute, Plus 1010 Spirit, Level, LV.40, Additional Skills, Summoning consumes 80% of the user's mana to summon 5 hunting tarantulas equal to the summoner's level at one time to participate in the battle. The skill cooling time is 6 hours. Mom, this level 40 weapon is really the best. After Chen Shu saw the excellent attributes and powerful additional skills, he couldn't help but admire it loudly. Bai Wuya on the other side was also stunned in place. Queen's Necklace, Quality, 
Goal. Attribute. Plus 280 Spirit. Level. LV.40. Additional Skills. Charm consumes 10% of mana. Controls a monster lower than the releaser's level. Control time is 10 hours. Cooling time is 12 hours. Junior. I have a top quality necklace here. It has a nice additional skill. It's really great. Bai Wanya screamed excitedly, but Chen Shu on the side remained calm and calm. Senior, I got a staff. Are you interested in seeing its attributes and additional skills? Bai Wuya was a little surprised when she heard the word, staff. Obviously, the staff obtained by Chen Shu is of gold quality and must be of extraordinary quality. Bai Wuya turned around and walked to Chen Shu. When she saw the staff, her eyes lit up. It turns out that this is the real best. In comparison, my necklace is like a younger brother. Student, junior, your staff is really top-notch, can I? Can I exchange it with you? Well, senior sister, call me Chen Shu or Uncle Chen a few times, and maybe I will agree to it. Chen Shu smiled and looked at Bai Wuya beside him. At this time, Bai Wanya didn't hesitate at all and immediately called out softly, Chen Shu, Chen Shu. Well, senior sister screams really nice, so about the exchange, I agree. Chen Shu, senior sister loves you so much. Bai Wuya hugged Chen Shu tightly and took a sip on his cheek. Take it, this weapon will greatly improve your ability to survive in the wild. Hum, Bai Wuya put away her weapon neatly, while Chen Shu put the necklace into the warehouse. After the two of them put away their equipment, they waited in silence for five minutes. A dazzling light surrounded the two people tightly. Copy outside. Chen Shu and Bai Wuya were surprised when they looked at the line of people in front of them. What exactly happened? What are these people in front of me waiting in line for? The two of them walked forward and suddenly understood when they saw the billboard in front of the stall. Senior sister, let's go back quickly. I just bought my bracelet not long ago and I don't use it very frequently. Although Bai Wuya was a little reluctant to give up, the communication bracelet on her wrist had been with her for almost two years. She doesn't want to change to a new bracelet just yet. Just as the two were about to turn around and leave, a professional with the Dragon Kingdom Communications logo on his chest came towards them. Please wait a moment, we are holding an event today, and all professionals present will have the opportunity to participate in the lottery. Bai Wuya seemed to be stopped in her tracks when she heard that there was a chance to draw a lottery. Junior, since there is a chance to draw a lottery, can we wait for a while? Chen Shu looked at Bai Wuya's expectant eyes and nodded gently. Since there are free benefits, no matter what the result is, we should try it. Bai Wanya thought so, and so did Chen Shu. Please each draw a number plate. We will announce the winners after the sale ends. Chen Shu and Bai Wuya looked at each other, and then each drew a number plate. Bai Wuya drew number 183, while Chen Shu drew number 187. Chen Shu, what is the number you drew? Mine is number 183. I'm number 187, senior. Let's go and have a rest. The professional smiled slightly. He had already memorized Chen Shu's number. This lottery was actually carefully arranged by them. All the numbers in it can use the number 187, so no matter how the lottery is drawn, Chen Shu is the only winner. The luxurious palace at the bottom of the abyss is filled with darkness. The perimeter of the palace is covered with tight defensive measures. There is a humanoid monster standing guard every five steps, and a sentry tower is set up every ten steps. The patrolling monsters are all equipped with uniform black spear weapons, standing solemnly or patrolling, guarding this sacred and inviolable palace. The most eye-catching thing in the palace is undoubtedly the elegant woman sitting on the throne. She has a graceful figure and charming face, which makes people fall in love with her. However, at this moment, the woman's face was filled with strong anger. The most abominable human being dares to kill my queen's clone. Send an order to have the soul-eating spiders at the barrier launch a beast wave attack to refresh the memories of those humans who don't know what to expect. There was a cold light in the woman's eyes, and her tone was full of majesty and anger. I will obey the queen's decree. Wait a moment and capture a batch of humans for this queen. I haven't tasted the delicious taste of fresh human flesh for several days. I will do my best to capture a living human being for Her Majesty the Queen. As soon as he finished speaking, a chorus of responses came from outside the hall, followed by a series of nervous and hurried footsteps. 
Immediately afterwards, an unprecedented beast tide is about to come, and the specific location may be somewhere unexpected to us, at least it should not happen around the Dragon Kingdom. Get out of that suffocating abyss of depression and dullness. Entrance to the primary copy. The communication bracelets that professionals long for are all sold out. A total of 500 communication bracelets were sold. Five people wearing Longwo Communications uniforms looked at the sales total with smiles on their faces. I am fully looking forward to enjoying a rich and diverse entertainment life after the mission is completed. Backquote everyone, let us now enter the lottery. Let's wait and see who will be the lucky one to receive a top-notch fashion communication bracelet worth 300,000 yuan. After the staff members in Longwo Communications uniforms announced this exciting news, the professionals in Rene immediately started a heated discussion. However, most people think that winning such a big prize is almost impossible. After all, only one number among so many numbers can stand out. Brother, what's the number in your hand? A mage gently approached his companion and carefully checked the number plate in his hand. Number 15, what's up? It's okay, I'm just a little curious. At this moment, the staff member wearing the Longwo Communications uniform had prepared the lottery box. Another staff member started an exciting lottery session. Picking a number from hundreds of numbers actually doesn't take much time. All the professionals present stared closely at the numbers in their hands, feeling unspeakably nervous. Everyone, now we announce the winning number. Congratulations to the professional holding number 187 for winning the high-end fashion communication Zhao Nuohao bracelet worth 300,000 yuan. Friends who didn't win the lottery don't be disappointed, because good luck will always come at the right time. Mr. Chen who was standing behind the crowd, had surprise in his eyes. He looked at the number in his hand in disbelief, as if he wasn't sure if this really happened. In this way, he actually won a grand prize with such a cloud. Is this luck really as good as a gift given to him by God? However, as the information was confirmed, the winning number was number. 187. Professionals holding number 187, please come forward and claim this prize. After hearing this, Mr. Chen still doubted whether he really won the prize through luck, but since he had won the prize, why not make good use of it? He decided not to hesitate and bravely walked to the stage to play. Bai Wuya silently looked at the number plate in her hand, shrugged helplessly, and threw the number on the ground. The juniors are still lucky, but the seniors are not. The process of claiming your prize is simple and straightforward. Chen Shu only needs to hand over the number plate, and the other party will hand over a high-end fashion communication bracelet to Chen Shu. The primary plan to kill the temple has been successfully completed. As long as Chen Shu wears a communication bracelet, the Temple of Death can know Chen Shu's location at any time. However, Chen Shu did not put on the communication bracelet immediately. Instead, the prizes were stored in the warehouse. Bai Wuya looked at Chen Shu walking towards him, her face showing joy. Junior, you are so lucky. Thank you for the compliment, senior sister. I think my luck is indeed pretty good. Chen Shu showed his confidence unabashedly, and he indeed felt that he was quite lucky. Let's go, it's getting late, let's go to Tangling City for dinner together. Chen Shu looked up to the sky. At this moment, the sky was already dark, and it was too late to go back to school for dinner. As Bai Wuya said, we should indeed go to Dongling City for dinner. Especially with such good luck today, not only did I get equipment, but I also got a communication bracelet. Of course it deserves a warm celebration. The two pedestrians left the scene one after the other. The five people behind them all had meaningful smiles on their lips. There must be some expectation of reward after this operation. On the bustling streets of Dongling City, Chen Shu and Bai Wanya walked side by side. Those colorful neon lights have been lit, adding more vitality to this bustling city. The bustling crowd shuttled back and forth around the two of them. Most of these people are life professionals. They constitute the largest group in the city and also play a leading role in nighttime consumption and entertainment. Time passed by quietly like this, and before I knew it, more than 20 minutes had passed. The two arrived at the entrance of a luxurious restaurant, but were politely blocked by the restaurant's security guard. I'm very sorry, the restaurant has been booked out today, please forgive me. 
The restaurant security guard is not a strong professional in the main battle category, and his level is only level 15. Meeting two young professionals at level 36, there is no doubt that they must be strong in the main combat profession. He wished very much that he could persuade them to leave in a pleasant tone. Who knows whether these young people in front of us will soar into the sky after 893. Chen Shu and Bai Wu looked at each other. If this is the case, then choose another restaurant. Dongling City is a large city with row upon row of restaurants and restaurants. Didi, two trumpets sounded. A top-notch car stopped steadily at the front entrance of the restaurant. The security guard immediately straightened his back and greeted the distinguished guest respectfully. The door of the car slowly opened, and the driver quickly stepped out of the car. Then the car door was carefully opened for the guests in the back seat. The back door gradually opened, and a woman in luxurious clothes walked out of the back seat gracefully. The long willow eyebrows, cherry-like mouth, and slender figure are undoubtedly the perfect interpretation of aesthetics and are too beautiful to behold. Stop admiring, let's find another place to eat as soon as possible. Chen Shu nodded slightly, there was really nothing worth watching too much. They were about to leave when the woman suddenly frowned slightly. Isn't the venue already booked today? Why are there still idle people waiting here? It's really unlucky. The woman complained softly, which almost made Bai Wuya explode in anger. Chen Shu gently pushed Bai Wanya and suggested that she pay attention to the rank of her fellow pilot. When she noticed that the driver was a level 81 thief, her whole aura waned. The Dragon Kingdom strictly prohibits professionals from killing each other. If killing breaks out due to some dispute, the whole society will condemn and want them. However, those big families or powerful people enjoy privileges. They have the right to explain the threats they receive and thus legitimately kill some powerless professionals. Bai Wuya took a deep breath and suppressed the resentment accumulated in her heart. Uncle Shang, let's go in. Grandpa and the others should be waiting inside. The woman looked at Chen Shu and Bai Wuya with contempt. Her condescending attitude made Chen Shu feel a little uncomfortable. Unlucky, my good mood was ruined by someone. Chen Shu whispered slightly, and the security guard beside him couldn't help but be startled. You too, if you can, please leave as soon as possible and don't cause any trouble to our restaurant. Understood, let's leave now. Chen Shu and Bai Wuya left, and the security guard finally breathed a sigh of relief. Inside the restaurant, the woman and Uncle Shang walked into a private room. The moment she opened the door, she was smiling, showing her gentle temperament. Hello Grandpa, hello uncles and uncles. The woman's cuteness was endearing, but they didn't know what she was doing at the door of the restaurant. Xiaoxuan, come to Grandpa. Tomorrow Grandpa will take you to Donghai Vocational University for a walk. Okay, Grandpa, the woman is the fourth daughter of the He family in Longdu City. She always presents herself as green tea. She seems gentle but is actually very calculating. He's on sat next to the old man, looking dignified and elegant, showing a typical ladylike style. Xiaoxuan, this is Uncle Yan from the Yan family. You have been playing behind Yan Yang when you were a child. Do you still remember? Grandpa, how can I remember what happened when I was a child? Brother Yan Yang is now the squadron leader. Let's not talk about what happened when I was a child. Hizan looked like a good girl, and the head of the Yan family on the side smiled awkwardly. Okay, heads of the family, we haven't seen each other for many years. Today, I came to Guibao land to toast you all with the wine here. The old man stood up and everyone stood up one after another in fright. Mr. He, how can we, the younger generation, bear this? Yes, you are our elder, we should respect you. Next, it was very lively to push cups and change cups. Warm atmosphere. The private room was filled with kind words for he's on, all polite and appropriate compliments. The reputable locals in Dongling were praising he's on against their will, but they couldn't help but secretly curse themselves for being shameless. At nine o'clock in the evening, the stars were shining brightly in the night sky. Chen Shu rubbed his belly. Each person spent 3,000 Dragon Country coins on that dinner, and Bai Wu paid the bill first. Chen Shu felt it was inappropriate, so he wanted to transfer the money to Bai Wu Bai Wu firmly refused. After the two returned to campus, they went directly back to the villa area to rest. After returning home, Chen Shu took a warm bath comfortably, then lay on the bed and fell asleep peacefully. 
The next morning, after Chen Shu washed up, he hurried to the canteen. After filling up my stomach on the first floor, I immediately rushed to the warrior department classroom. At 8 o'clock in the morning, the school bell rang on time. Yan Bing's outfit today is quite casual and focused on comfort. A loose jacket, loose pants, and a pair of sneakers. The students in the classroom couldn't help but feel confused. There seems to be something wrong with teacher Yan today, and Yan Bing's hairstyle doesn't seem to be carefully taken care of but is simply tied into a ponytail. Chen Shu looked at Yan Bing curiously, feeling that something was about to happen, but couldn't figure out what it was. Class, today I will explain to you the distribution of the abyss outside the barrier. All the students present began to listen attentively. There are hundreds of abyss around our country, and there is an abyss lord in each abyss, and his power is extremely powerful. Once, our dragon kingdom tried to attack the abyss, but finally gave up after paying a huge price. The monsters in the abyss are more powerful than the beasts outside the barrier, and their attributes have been greatly improved. However, the monsters in the abyss usually will not leave the abyss walking out for 10 miles means bloodshed. Classmates, have any of you ever encountered an abyss monster? After Yan Bing finished speaking, she turned to look at Chen Shu. She knew that Chen Shu was the only one in the class who had ever faced an abyss monster. Even she herself has never officially come into contact with the monsters inside the abyss. Chen Shu stood up on his own initiative. Chen Shu, please come to the front and answer the questions. Chen Shu stood up from his seat, and the students around him couldn't help but look at him in surprise. Teacher, I seem to have come into contact with three different abyss monsters. Although their levels are not high, their attributes are extremely powerful. The first time I met was the Abyss Ghost General, I can't remember its attributes. The second time I met was the Abyss Sword King. Although I didn't record its attributes specifically, but according to its characteristics named Abyss, it should be it's definitely a monster in the Abyss. Yesterday, a sophomore senior and I met the Tarantula Queen in the primary experience copy. Now I will show you this attribute photo. The Tarantula Queen, level, 40, constitution, 6000. Strength, 15,000. Agility, 3,700. Skills, Spider Silk Strangulation, Charming Blow, Venom Invasion, Summon Spider Swarm. Chen Shu projected the property photos taken yesterday. The classroom was suddenly filled with an atmosphere of tension and excitement. Chen Shu, did you successfully defeat this monster? Wu Yu, do you have a brain? Since Chen Shu has returned safely, it naturally means that you have successfully defeated this monster. Zhao Wen pointed to his head and said, Classmates, please stay quiet. If you encounter such a powerful monster, do you have any effective way to escape? Yan Bing asked. The other students shook their heads. With a damage value of 15,000 and an agility of 3,700, I'm afraid I can't escape. At this time, Yan Bing was also wondering, how did Chen Shu defeat the Tarantula Queen? Everyone present wanted to know even more. I'll show you two additional skills and you'll understand. Looking at everyone's doubtful expressions, I decided to explain. Chen Shu released the two additional skills on the equipment. Additional skills. Invisibility activate the skill to enter the invisible state, lasting 20 seconds, and the cooling time is 12 hours. Additional skills. Sword Qi Zonggang group attack skill can attack 100 targets on the ground or in the air, each target will bear 110% of its own damage, the enemy hit will be stunned for 5 seconds, and the cooling time is 30 minutes. With these two skills, everyone will understand without going into details. With Chen Shu's damage, the Tarantula Queen cannot withstand being stunned for 5 seconds. Doc Rack Rack, steady steps could be heard in the corridor. The students in class 1 all turned towards the corridor curiously. After a while, Principal Wei and several directors of the school accompanied an elderly man with a glowing face. The corners of the old man's mouth were slightly raised. Although he looked charitable, his sharp eyes told us that this was definitely very serious. Hizan held the old man's arm gracefully, with a charming smile on her face. Students, let's continue class. Chen Shu, go back to your seats. Yan Bing reminded the students to focus on class, and Chen Shu quickly returned to his seat. After a while, everyone stopped at the door of class 1, and the hidden person turned his head and glanced at the classroom of class 1. Principal Wei, 
there are rumors that Xiaoyan is teaching in your school. I didn't believe it at first, but now I do. The old man looked at Principal Wei beside him with a smile. Mr. He, are you here specifically to see Yan Bing? Principal Wei asked respectfully. The old man nodded slightly. He did come to Dongling from Longdu to meet Yan Bing. His grandson He Yun once had a relationship with Yan Bing. He Yun died on the battlefield outside the barrier six months ago. The cause of his death is confusing. It was rumored that only Yan Bing's team had seen He Yun for the last time, so he was eager to ask Yan Bing personally about He Yun. What's more, before this, He Yun had passionately pursued Yan Bing. Although he was rejected, he caused a sensation in Longdu Vocational University. Therefore, as He Yun's girlfriend, Fang Ting had resentment towards Yan Bing and suspected that Yan Bing took the initiative to hook up with He Yun. Teacher Yan, I'm so sorry, please come out. Principal Wei's tone was gentle, without Siltai's domineering attitude. Yan Bing is a personnel dispatched by the military and teaches in the school as a teacher. Principal Wei is only responsible for providing a teaching environment and fully supporting the work of the personnel dispatched by the military. Principal Wei, we are in class. I will go to the principal's office after class. Yan Bing simply declined Principal Wei. This made the old boy feel happy. Yan Bing's refusal to give him face was a disdain for the He family in Longdu. Everyone knew that this old man must be looking for Yan Shui. He Lao, what do you think? Principal Wei posed the question to the old man. If he gave up, he would follow him back to the reception room to wait. If the old man insists, then Principal Wei will have to bite the bullet and ask Yan Bing to come out. Principal Wei, let's go to the reception room and wait for a while, so as not to affect Xiaoyan's teaching. Principal Wei was elated, things were going very smoothly, and it seemed that nothing would go wrong again. Mr. He, please enter the living room first and wait patiently. The old man nodded slightly, and Hizan stared at Yan Bing with a trace of resentment in her eyes. Inadvertently, Hizan saw Chen Shu sitting in the back row. She cast a disdainful look at Chen Shu. Then he whispered something in the old man's ear. The old man's face turned serious for a moment, and he looked at Principal Wei beside him and said, a student from your school behaved inappropriately. He actually appeared in a place he shouldn't have last night. Principal Wei. You have to take good care of the school's atmosphere. Principal Wei's face was full of confusion. He appeared in a place he shouldn't have. Where have your students gone? Mr. He, please make it clear that I really don't know anything about this matter. I will strictly manage the students. Xiao Zan, please tell me about yesterday's incident in detail. The old man's eyes turned to Hizan next to him. Okay, Grandpa, here's what happened. Yesterday, a student from class 1 behaved despicably outside the restaurant we reserved. He looked at me very rudely. I was really scared at that time. This kind of thing happened. Which bold student is it? I will ask him to come out and apologize. At this time, Hizan pretended to be pitiful and said in a low voice, Principal Wei, let's just forget about this matter. Don't be angry. Absolutely not. We can't just let this matter go. This student must be punished for being disrespectful to Miss He. Hizan was secretly proud of herself. Those lowly people were not worthy of even looking at her, and they would have to pay the price if they did. Principal Wei, that guy is him. Hizan stretched out her slender fingers and pointed at Chen Shu in the back row. It's him. Principal Wei was greatly surprised. He knew Chen Shu's character. Not only did President Yu mention it to him, but Qin Mingfei from Hai also praised Chen Shu to him. With Chen Shu's courageous and generous character and good behavior, how could he look at Hizan with such a vulgar look? In addition, how could Chen Shu go to the restaurant reserved by He Lao? It seems that the only way is to call Chen Shu over and ask him face to face. It's Yan Bing's class time now. After class, let Yan Bing bring Chen Shu to the living room. Teacher Yan, come to the living room with Chen Shu after class. A V E R T I S E M E N T. Principal Wei said this outside the classroom. Everyone in the classroom turned to look at Chen Shu, who was sitting in the last row. They could clearly hear the conversation between Hizan and Principal Wei just now. Chen Shu, who was sitting in the back row, thought that his mother was selling him, so he just looked at it a few more times, but what about it? And he didn't show any obscene expression. However, 
principal Wei's words shocked the old man. He Zan showed a trace of imperceptible resentment. Chen Shu defeated Fang Hang in Longdu Professional University. Fang Hang is the male god in her heart. Although He Zan is one year older than Fang Hang, this does not affect her love for him at all. If it hadn't been for that engagement, she would have known how to confess boldly. Fang Hang's enemies are her enemies, and she will never tolerate Fang Hang's opponents having a smooth life. The old man was shocked by Chen Shu's strength. He cleared the monster corridor at Longdu Professional University. What an astonishing speed it was. Principal Wei, let's go to the living room to take a short rest. I want to have a good meeting with this student named Chen Shu later. Everyone surrounded the old man and left the scene. The whole class was silent. What disease did Chen Shu get into? Chen Shu, what did you do yesterday? Yan Bing, as the head teacher, was the first to ask the question, how could Chen Shu offend his on from the He family? Teacher Yan, it's really unlucky to talk about this. Dude, as soon as Chen Shu said the word, unlucky, everyone in the class took a breath. Yan Bing's curiosity became more and more intense. Based on her understanding of Chen Shu, the matter was definitely not as simple as Hizan said. Chen Shu, don't stop, keep talking. Yan Bing looked at Chen Shu and urged. Oh, here's what happened. Yesterday, my senior sister and I successfully broke through the nightmare dungeon. When we came out, it was too late. It would be too late to go back to school for dinner. So, we decided to celebrate in Tangolin City. The two of us arrived at Tangolin Restaurant, but the security guard told us that the restaurant was booked. Just when we were about to leave, the woman got out of the car, and I looked at her a few more times. That's what happened. Yan Bing couldn't laugh or cry. Children of wealthy families always look down on common people, so it was understandable that they would be seen as provocative. Chen Shu, you don't have to worry, the teacher will protect your safety. Chen Shu smiled and rubbed his cheek. Teacher, I'm not worried, I just glanced at it a few times, it can't kill me. Yan Bing nodded. It is naturally impossible to save Chen Shu's life. I am afraid that small tricks behind the scenes will bring risks to Chen Shu and the entire team. Let the teacher handle this matter. It's best if you don't say anything later. Yan Bing reminded her again and again, and Chen Shu had no choice but to nod in agreement. Time flies. As the bell rang, the class ended. Point zero. Yan Bing looked back at Chen Shu, turned and left. Chen Shu followed immediately. The classroom suddenly exploded. Chen Shu, is he okay? He offended a wealthy family in Longdu, so he won't be targeted everywhere, right? The first one to feel worried was Tian Na. She was well aware of the tyranny of wealthy families. On the surface, they are all gentlemen, but behind the scenes they are complete villains. It shouldn't be a big problem. Didn't Chen Shu say that it's impossible to kill him after just a few glances? I think so. Chen Shu is really unlucky. It's just a meal, it will cause trouble. But this is not his fault. Forget it, don't say this so as not to offend others. Have you noticed? Chen Shu is already level 36. The female warrior named Zhang Qian suddenly said something. The whole classroom fell silent instantly. In just a few days, Chen Shu actually advanced to another level. Upgrading becomes more and more difficult after level 30. How did Chen Shu do it? I know that there is a junior experience dungeon in Dongling City. He played the dungeon with his sophomore sister yesterday and easily reached level 36. I'm so envious, I'm only level 19, 47%, I don't know when I will reach level 20. Don't show off your level all the time. My level is only level 19, 11%, which is far from level 20. Students, I am going to the school dungeon this afternoon. Does anyone want to form a team? Wu Yu glanced at his level, which was level 19, 31%. He was also eager to jump into the ranks of level 20, and then enter the school's level 20 comprehensive copy to gain experience. If you can awaken your talent, you will be invincible. Killing one monster at a time will be extremely exciting. Don't think about it, go ahead and upgrade to level 100, maybe you can really awaken your talent. The discussion in the class was lively and active. Chen Shu and Yan Bing had already reached the door of the living room. Yan Bing glanced at Chen Shu and couldn't help but ask, are you nervous? Chen Shu shook his head firmly, why are you nervous? You have two shoulders to carry one head, what are you afraid of? Then let's go in. 
Yan Bing patted Chen Shu's back gently and walked into the living room first. The moment Chen Shu saw Yan Bing step into the living room, he immediately stepped forward and followed closely. In the living room, the old man was leisurely tasting the fragrant tea carefully prepared by Principal Wei. When he caught a glimpse of Yan Bing appearing, he couldn't help but raise his eyebrows slightly. He Zong lowered his head and made gestures, thinking hard about how to punish Chen Shu. It's best to get Chen Shu out of Tunghai Vocational University. Principal Wei, who do I want to be? Yan Bing knew that the He family was looking for her, but he was unwilling to ask anyone from the He family, but asked Principal Wei directly. Xiaoyan, it's not that I came to see you, but He Lao came to see you for something. Hearing this, Yan Bing nodded slightly, turned to look at the old man and asked, Mr. He, what do you want to see me for? Chen Shu behind him remained silent, already aware of Yan Bing's cold attitude towards the He family. Xiaoyan, sit down and talk. The old man's seemingly friendly invitation was full of majesty. Thank you, Mr. He, for your concern, but it's better for me to stand in front of the elders. Yan Bing refused directly and his wording was more reasonable. Xiaoyan, could you please explain He Yun's matter in detail? Seeing that Yan Bing was unwilling to sit down, the old man went straight to the point and asked what the importance of the cloud was. Yan Bing did not hesitate at all, and replied bluntly, 947, Mr. He, I have no connection with He Yun, we only met once outside the barrier. It was because of this that Yan Bing's team's original target route was rewritten, making her team lucky enough to find a high-level experience copy. Sometimes things have to happen in life. That time, a teammate of Yan Bing's team brought a whole warehouse of energy bars. That thing is better than compressed dry food, and a small energy bar can last for a day. Yan Bing's teammates brought 2,000 energy bars. They stayed at the high-level copy for a while until the high-level copy disappeared. The level of the entire team has increased by leaps and bounds. The highest level is Yan Bing, reaching level 85, 96%. Yan Bing really knew nothing about why He Yun died. The old man stared deeply at Yan Bing's emotionless face, frowning slightly. Question mark. Obviously, it is not easy to try to dig out the important information he needs from Yan Bing. She seemed to have some secret, but it was completely blank. Xiaoyan, He Yun's death is of great concern. I hope you can provide some valuable information. The old man refused to give up and hoped that Yan Bing would remember something. However, Yan Bing shook his head decisively and replied, Mr. He, I really can't remember anything. We spent eight months in the dungeon. We really don't know what happened. The old man couldn't help but sigh. Although He Yun has fallen, his body has not yet been recovered, leaving only the remains of an archer from his team. Grandpa, please don't be sad, I believe a miracle will definitely happen. He Zan softly comforted the old man beside her, showing her image of a good girl. Xiao Xuan is still sensible. By the way, that student named Chen Shu, can you give me an explanation? The old man glanced at He Zan lovingly, and then turned to Chen Shu with majestic eyes. At this time, Chen Shu did not make any excuse. Yan Bing asked him to keep silent. He kept Yan Bing's instructions in mind. Mr. He, I think this is just a misunderstanding. I hope Miss He can forgive me. Yan Bing spoke up to defend Chen Shu, and she firmly supported him. The old man smiled slightly and said, Is it really a misunderstanding? Don't you have any evil thoughts in your heart? Chen Shu looked at the old man expressionlessly and cursed in his heart. Evil thoughts. Although He Zan was outstanding in appearance, she was not the most beautiful woman in the country. Chen Shu had never been moved by her. His goal is to upgrade to level 50, unlock spells to counter damage, and then move to more advanced monster areas. Grandpa, he looked at me like a tiger and a beast, as if he wanted to eat me. He Zan continued to add fuel to the fire and would never give up until Chen Shu was tortured to death. Miss He, are you sure Chen Shu looked like this? Principal Wei on the side asked casually, his tone full of suspicion. He didn't believe that Chen Shu would have that look in his eyes. Yes, it's very scary. If Uncle Shang hadn't rescued me, he would have taken me away. What surprised Principal Wei was that He Zan seized this opportunity and became more and more violent. The more she said, the more outrageous she said. Chen Shu felt that she should become an actor instead of a supporting profession. 
perhaps the awakening life type actor career would be more suitable for her. Principal way, how do you think this matter should be handled? My granddaughter will not lie. I absolutely trust my precious granddaughter. Quote dot 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 quote. Principal Wei was indeed hesitant at the moment, and he naturally trusted Chen Shu. But the He family is so powerful that in their eyes, the president of Donghai Vocational University is like an insignificant existence. Principal Wei, such a bad student should be severely punished. I think he should be expelled from Tunghai Vocational University immediately. The old man's words were so passionate that Chen Shu couldn't help but be shocked. Yan Bing, who was standing next to him, also frowned. Principal Wei could only lower his head helplessly. After finally discovering a shining star of genius, the He family made such an absurd request. Wei Fenghai, you must make a decision, either expel Chen Shu or give up the education subsidy from the Dragon Kingdom. The old man's attitude was full of threats. He called Principal Wei by name and even used the education subsidy as a weight. The atmosphere in the reception room was extremely tense. The directors sitting there bowed their heads and remained silent. Choose Chen Shu, or subsidies. If you choose to protect Chen Shu, East China Sea Professional Taishui's education subsidies may no longer exist. If he chooses the subsidy, Chen Shu will have to say goodbye to Donghai Vocational University. The Dragon Kingdom's powerful people and families dominate, and the living environment for ordinary professionals is extremely difficult. Geniuses like Chen Shu are often suppressed. Ha ha, Principal Wei, I, Chen Shu, am not afraid of slanting shadows when I am upright. In this case, for the sake of other classmates, I am willing to leave Tunghai Vocational University. Chen Shu finally couldn't help but speak up and leave here. With his strength, he can gain a foothold anywhere. But school funds cannot be obtained, what should other students do? The He family is already on his blacklist. From now on, he will kill everyone he encounters in the wild. But he did not publicly say that he would never give anyone an excuse. Absolutely not. Such a bad guy should be expelled from the school, and at the same time, it needs to be publicized and announced to the whole country. Hizan's voice echoed in the spacious living room like thunder. Principal Wei turned around and glanced at Hizan who was speaking. This young lady of the He family was really very scheming. Once Chen Shu is expelled and made public, he will no longer be able to use the teleportation array of the Professionals Association. All dungeons controlled by the Professional Association will also be closed to him, and it is even more impossible to enter the dungeon controlled by the Dragon Kingdom military. Notify the whole country that this is not only a huge stain, but Chen Shu may not be able to make a name for himself in the Dragon Kingdom in this life. Mr. He, this matter is not a big deal, why push Chen Shu into a desperate situation? Yan Bing stepped forward and firmly supported Chen Shu. Threats to my granddaughter are no small matter, Xiaoyan, please don't interfere in this matter. Mr. He, Chen Shu is undoubtedly a genius. With his talent, he will definitely be able to make great contributions to our country in the future. If this matter is notified to the whole country, his talent may be buried. This will be a blessing to the country. Huge loss. The old man waved his hand and said with emotion, if you have bad character, what if you are a genius? Our He family has sacrificed so many brave sons and sons for the Dragon Kingdom. Each of them is a rare genius. I didn't say that putting him on the wanted list was already a charity to him. This matter is settled like that. The old man was very strong and seemed to have no room for negotiation. Yan Bing turned to look at Chen Shu, his face showing deep helplessness. Although she is a level 86 warrior, her power is limited. In front of those big families, her power is like a worm shaking a tree. The other party treated her politely, perhaps because of He Yun's face. Teacher Yan, please don't worry too much. The Dragon Kingdom is not controlled by the He family. Justice is in the heart of the people, and those who do unrighteousness will be punished. Chen Shu's passionate words made the old man and He Zan look angry, and his subsequent words made He Zan directly break through their defenses. Teacher Yan, you are the goddess of the Warrior Academy. You are so beautiful. Have I, Chen Shu, ever looked at you in a lewd way? That kind of thing is worthy of making me happy, but you are just self-righteous. You think you are superior, but you are actually inferior. Just an idiot. Chen Shu has no power and no one around him can protect him. He can only break the jar and vent his inner grievances and unwillingness. 
What's more, he is alone, and it is not that easy to control him. Ooh, Grandpa, he slandered me and called me a lowly thing. You, you dare to humiliate my granddaughter like this. Ah Shang will kill this arrogant person. Our he family will shoulder all the responsibilities. The old man stood up angrily, pointed his finger at Chen Shu, and growled gloomily. The level 81 thief struck so fast that even Yan Bing was helpless. Minus 3,514. Chen Shu's health points were reduced by 3,514 points, but the entire tank was only lost. Minus 351,399. The He family's thief had minus 351,399 health points floating above his head. Everyone in the living room was shocked. This was six figures. They had never seen such a number appear. The level 81 thief was trembling all over and hurriedly took out the recovery potion and took it. Bloodlock badge. Yan Bing couldn't help shouting loudly. Chen Shu did not immediately fight back against the thief, but calmly turned to the old man of the He family. Old sir, do you want today to be your and your granddaughter's memorial day next year? Chen Shu's words had a sinister meaning, and He Zan, who was a little panicked just now, was trembling all over. If Uncle Shang didn't have the life-saving treasure, I'm afraid he would have perished. How dare you, if you do harm to us, the entire He family will not let you go. Chen Shu didn't answer the old man's words, and directly took out the Yanling knife from the warehouse and looked at the old man expressionlessly. Guess if I, Chen Shu, dare. Seeing that the situation was out of control, Principal Wei stood in front of Chen Shu. Chen Shu, calm down, do something and don't do anything. Principal Wei didn't want Chen Shu to do something stupid impulsively and bring trouble to Donghai Vocational University, but it didn't matter. At most, if the subsidy is cut off, the He family doesn't have the ability to take action against the students of Donghai Vocational University. At this time, Yan Bing, who had regained his composure, also grabbed Chen Shu. Chen Shu, there are no deaths on either side now, please don't escalate the situation further. Teacher Yan, Principal Wei, I, Chen Shu, don't cause trouble, but I'm not afraid of it either. If the He family wants my life, I can only fight back. That fool targets me everywhere. She forces me to dig up her family's ancestral graves. At this time, He Zan wanted to explode, but she didn't dare. If Chen Shu was provoked again, she might be the first to die. The thief was already standing beside the old man, still taking the recovery potion. The two sides were in a stalemate for several minutes. There was a sound of footsteps outside the living room. President Yu from the Professionals Association rushed to Donghai Professionals University with his people. Who informed President Yu? Of course, it was Principal Wei who asked someone to inform him. Before entering the living room, he asked his director to inform President Yu. What are you doing? Chen Shu, why are you holding a weapon? President Yu saw the tense situation in the living room and asked. Lesui, this little beast wants to kill me. Ha ha, old man, don't rely on your old age. Who wants to push me into a desperate situation? Who wants to kill me? Chen Shu didn't take it easy and directly responded to Lao Dongzi. Li Yu, look at it, people like this don't deserve education, they are the corrupt ministers of the Dragon Kingdom. President Yu has a sullen face. He still hasn't figured out what's going on. He doesn't want to help each other. Chen Shu, calm down first and put your weapons away. Chen Shu shook his head and said, The level 81 thief wanted to kill me before. If it weren't for my own strength, President Yu would have seen a corpse. It's impossible to put down my arms, I have to protect myself. Chen Shu decisively refused to President Yu. When life and death were at stake, no one's words were of any use. What is going on? President Yu looked on both sides and asked helplessly. President Yu, Miss He said that Chen Shu wants to harm her, Mr. He wants to fire Chen Shu, and Miss He wants to report the matter to the whole country. Principal Wei simply stated the matter, as long as President Yu could understand it. Chen Shu, what do you want to do to Miss Sha? President Yu and several professionals behind him remained on guard. President Yu, yesterday I went to have dinner. I looked at this fool at the door of the restaurant and said that I was a low-class person and unworthy of looking at her, and that I was not good for her. Now that she was so angry, Chen Shu didn't bother to call Miss He and just called her instead. 
President Yu's mouth twitched a few times. What should I do? Both sides insist on their own opinions, and each one insists on his own reasons. He's on on the side was so angry that her face turned green. She wanted to cut Chen Shu into pieces. Chen Shu, it is better to resolve enemies than to make them not. Take a step back and the world will be brighter. After President Yu finished speaking, he looked at the old man again. He Lao, young people are easy to be impulsive. Please be patient and give young people a chance to change their ways. President Yu was trying to make peace with the situation in the middle, trying to make the big thing a small matter, but it turned into a small matter. The old man didn't speak, he just stood up from his seat and prepared to leave Donghai Professional University. He Zan cuddled tightly next to the old man, her body still showing a faint tremor. If you want to leave, I won't do anything to you in front of the president, but the thief's life will be spared. Chen Shu's eyes were filled with murderous intent. It was absolutely impossible for the thief who had attacked him to leave easily. Little beast, do you dare to touch Axiong? The sword is everywhere. Chen Shu looked serious and activated the additional skills without hesitation. Even if the thief's agility is high, he cannot avoid this group attack skill. Charge, heavy chop. After a series of dazzling movements, the level 81 thief fell to the ground. The blood lock badge worn by the thief has become invalid after being used once. No treasure can save the thief's life. The power of the sword he slashed was as high as nearly 35,000. Such a powerful attack power could not be resisted by a level 81 thief. Ah, he's on screamed in horror. What she kicked this time was not an iron plate, but a cold-blooded killer. To actually kill the he family in front of her grandfather, such a person is simply crazy. Go away, you, the he family, had better not show up in the wild in the future. You might end up dying unexpectedly one day. Chen Shu no longer cares about anything else. He has his own place to stay here, so he can only take one step at a time. The old man looked pale. How unfathomable is Chen Shu's strength? The level 81 thief, the best among the He family's guards, was easily killed by Chen Shu. After performing a set of moves, there was no backhand power at all. It wasn't just the old man who was shocked. Everyone present was shocked. Although Yan Bing himself has level 86 strength, it is almost impossible to defeat a level 81 thief. However, Chen Shu used extraordinary means to kill the level 81 thief. Principal Wei's face was full of surprise and worry. Chen Shu had already developed a hatred for the He family. Principal Wei really can't predict what the subsequent development will be. President Yu almost couldn't help but exclaimed, Chen Shu's strength far exceeded his imagination. The current Chen Shu is only level 36, but he can easily defeat a level 81 expert. How should he respond? Next, whether Chen Shu is really wanted by the entire Dragon Kingdom, publish this wanted mission on various mission networks. At this time, the old man of the He family slowly left the living room with He Zan. They paid no attention to the body lying on the ground. Chen Shu did not stop the two of them, but watched them leave indifferently. Today, he gave President Yu enough face, and also saved enough face for Donghai Vocational University, and did not kill the He family in the school. Chen Shu felt somewhat guilty because the school students were implicated in the school's problems. Chairman Yu glanced at Chen Shu helplessly and led his subordinates out of the living room. It was his responsibility to escort the old man out safely. No one from the He family must die in his jurisdiction. In the reception room, Chen Shu walked straight to Principal Wei. Principal Wei, the matter is now over. I have brought a lot of trouble to the school. I don't care whether I can enter the dungeon or whether I will be included in the wanted list. I, Chen Shu, am willing to sacrifice my life for those righteous families. Death, for the sake of the common people of the Dragon Kingdom, they are more willing to bravely kill monsters. However, I will not compromise with those families that have become corrupt. Principal Wei stared into Chen Shu's eyes. Such an outstanding student was cornered by the powerful. Chen Shu, the power of the He family is very important. You must act cautiously from now on. Their pursuit of you will never end. I am very grateful to the principal for reminding me. I, Chen Shu, have a clear conscience for what I did, but if someone wants my life, I will never tolerate it. Chen Shu respectfully saluted and thanked Principal Wei. Yan Bing on the side was worried, and Chen Shu's departure made her reluctant to leave. 
But she was unable to compete with the He family. She vowed to protect Chen Shu, but now she failed to fulfill her promise. Yan Bing's face looked slightly embarrassed. Others present lowered their heads and did not dare to speak. They all followed principal Wei's arrangements and did whatever the principal said. Chen Shu, what are your plans for the future? There is still a lot of knowledge you haven't learned in school. Yan Bing asked with concern, standing next to Chen Shu. Teacher Yan, I don't know what to do. I can only take it one step at a time. Chen Shu reluctantly expressed his inner thoughts. He originally dreamed of studying at Donghai Vocational University, but he could not study safely here. He can only prove himself with strength. As long as he becomes strong enough, no one will dare to despise him. Chen Shu's desire to advance is extremely strong. He is eager to reach level 50 as soon as possible. Once he reaches this level, there will not be many people who threaten him when he fights alone. Principal Wei, before I leave, I must tell you the news that there is a primary copy in Haiyu City, which can be entered twice every 510 days, each time for up to two hours. It's a great place to improve your level, and this copy is free. Chen Shu told Principal Wei what he knew without reservation. For low-level professionals, the primary dungeon in Haiyu City is undoubtedly a treasure. Principal Wei and the directors looked at each other. They didn't know anything about it. The advantage of one more hour, not to mention it was free, was simply a blessing. Chen Shu, where did you learn this important information? Principal Wei, that dungeon was actually discovered by me and two teammates. We reported the good news to President Chin, and after careful discussion, we finally decided to open this dungeon to all professionals for free. Okay, this is good news for low-level professionals. Although it costs 500 Dragon Country coins to enter a dungeon, it can't handle the large number of people, and the school can't organize it collectively. Principal Wei's face was flushed with excitement, and he had completely forgotten about the corpse of the thief still lying on the ground. Teacher Yan, we will meet again later. Please write down my number. If you have any trouble in the future, just come to me. I, Chen Shu, am not afraid of any killing. Chen Shu took out the communication bracelet from the warehouse. It was still the same one. The rewarded communication bracelet has not been put into use yet. Yan Bing and Chen Shu added each other as friends and then walked out of the living room. Going out means parting, Chen Shu officially leaves school. Yan Bing, on the other hand, continued to attend class. Teacher Yan, I really don't have any friends at Donghai Vocational University. Please give this key to Tian Na and let her move to my villa. Otherwise, it would be a waste of resources if it is always empty. Chen Shu solemnly put the key into Yan Bing's hand, turned and walked towards the school gate. The figure looks a little lonely, but the pace is extremely determined. Chen Shu, if you want to kill someone, please contact the teacher. Yan Bing called out to Chen Shu's back, but Chen Shu shook hands and made an okay gesture. Chen Shu left Donghai Professionals University and left for the Tangling Professionals Association without hesitation. Before the matter is exposed, leave Tangling City quickly. The target is Baishan City. Monsters are rampant outside the barrier, which can be used as a good place for leveling. Warrior Class 1 Everyone saw Yan Bing returning to class alone. No one took the initiative to ask questions, because Yan Bing's face was solemn and the anger in his eyes could not be concealed. Students, Chen Shu has left school. As for where he will go next, the teacher doesn't know. No one in the whole class whispered, they were digesting the news brought by Yan Bing. Please stay calm, everyone. Chen Shu was expelled from the school for killing the 81-level thief of the He family. Hearing this, the originally quiet classroom suddenly became excited. Teacher, Chen Shu's agility cannot be compared to that of a thief. How did he do it? Zhao Wen still remained seated and asked directly. All eyes immediately focused on Yan Bing. Chen Shu used the group attack skill, which has a stun effect, and then used collision and heavy slashing to successfully kill the level 81 thief. Yan Bing said in a calm tone, but she knew in her heart that all this was the result of Chen Shu's careful arrangement, he skillfully killed the fast thief with his sword. The classroom fell into silence again, everyone was trying to digest what Yan Bing said. At this time, Yan Bing approached Tian Na who was thinking. Tian Na, please keep this key. Chen Shu asked me to give it to you. Teacher, what is this? This is the key to Chen Shu's villa. 
The villa is numbered 261. Chen Shu is worried that it will be vacant and a waste of resources. He hopes you will move there. Thank you Chen Shu, and thank you, Teacher Yan. Tian Na held the key tightly, tears falling from the corners of her eyes, and her heart was filled with gratitude. At this moment, she made up her mind to be ambitious. Be sure to work hard to level up, and look forward to one day being able to step forward when Chen Shu needs help the most, and do your best to support him. Dear students, let us settle down, concentrate on class, accumulate richer theoretical knowledge, and go to Haiyu City to upgrade in one month. Everyone looked at each other, as if they didn't know what was special about Haiyu City. Is there an excellent place to spawn monsters in Haiyu City? According to what Chen Shu said before leaving, there is a primary experience dungeon in Haiyu City that can be entered twice a day, each time lasting two hours. This copy was discovered by Chen Shu. After reporting it to the Professionals Association and the head of Haiyu City, it was decided to open it to the public for free. Yan Bing brought exciting good news to everyone, and everyone was excited. Beishan City Chen Shu purchased three boxes of energy bars and five boxes of purified water in advance. Worried that it was not enough, I bought another huge hiking bag. The hiking bag contained two more boxes of energy bars and a large amount of purified water. When preparing to teleport to the fortress, he suddenly realized that something had been forgotten. The funds in the bank account must be withdrawn. However, after all the funds are withdrawn, it will take up a lot of space in the warehouse. The warehouse space is limited, and what he is most concerned about right now is the storage of food and pure water. What about spending a lot of money on equipment? If it were ordinary quality equipment, he would look down upon it. As for those high quality equipment, he really couldn't afford them with his current financial reserves. That kind of equipment with additional skills is extremely rare on the market, and even if it appears, it will definitely be expensive. Chen Shu doesn't even have to think about the money he has on hand. In the end, Chen Shu decided to withdraw 3 million and leave the rest in the account, let it go. He hurriedly rushed to the official bank of the Dragon Kingdom, took out 3 million Dragon Kingdom coins, and deposited them in the warehouse. When preparing to transmit again, Chen Shu took out his communication bracelet and wrote a message with a smile. Senior sister, when you see this message, I have already left Donghai Vocational University. I have offended the He family in Longdu. You must not mention that you know me outside. This will get you into trouble. Study sister, we will see you again in the future, take care. After Chen Shu released the information, he put the bracelet into the warehouse. After one hour, Chen Shu has reached the land beyond the barrier. In this land, you can have a panoramic view of the beautiful scenery, lush green trees, delicate flowers, and the gentle breeze blowing leisurely. Chen Shu took a deep breath of fresh air and immediately relaxed his mind, feeling extremely happy. Start spawning monsters non-stop, I will stay here for a while. Pipe pipe dot quote. At noon, Longdu started the wanted mission first. Name, Chen Shu, level, 36, killed Dragon Kingdom professional, violated Dragon Kingdom's 17th law, Chen Shu is now wanted. Wanted reward. Regardless of whether you are captured alive or killed, you will receive 10 million Dragon Kingdom coins. After the task is released, it will be automatically delivered to the professional's bracelet. As long as you go to Longdu Professionals Association, you can accept this task. Lan Yujiao, who had just come out of the dungeon, turned to stone when she saw the message popping up on her bracelet. Chen Shu was actually wanted, and he even killed professionals from the Dragon Kingdom. What is going on? The uneasy Lan Yujiao immediately contacted her father, but Lan Wenxiang was also confused. How could he know what happened at Donghai Vocational University? What's more, his level is not high enough to know this. Lan Yujiao sent several messages to Chen Shu in succession, but no one responded. On the other side, Qin Yanren, who was working on reaching level 30, was stunned. Chen Shu is wanted, what happened? Today, he is no longer in the mood to practice leveling. He must return to the Qin family immediately to understand the true meaning of the matter. When he hurried back to the study of the old man of the Qin family, he saw his grandfather frowning, thinking about something. Grandpa, why is Chen Shu wanted? The old man looked up at his granddaughter, his expression a little unhappy. Yanren, this Chen Shu dared to kill the 81st level guard of the He family. 
He was really bold. Chen Shu is so awesome. The old man's face was full of black lines. His granddaughter was so rude and said careless words. It seems that she needs to be taught a lesson before she can do anything. He he, grandpa, that was a slip of the tongue. In fact, I'm usually pretty ladylike. Before the old man opened his mouth to reprimand, Chin Yanren took the lead in self-examination, which actually suppressed the old man's anger. Grandpa, why did Chen Shu kill the guards of the He family? Grandpa doesn't know the details either. I heard that He Laogui took his granddaughter to Donghai Vocational University, and somehow there was a conflict. This Chen Shu almost killed Mr. He and his granddaughter together. Chin Yanren almost blurted out another sentence. Grandpa, He's on from the He family is actually a green tea. Her attitude and words are particularly respectful in person, but there are endless tricks behind her. The social circle in Longdu is quite critical of her. You can't say that to her, but you don't have to date her. The relationship between He Laogui and me is quite harmonious, so don't make her fall out. I understand, Grandpa. I really don't want to interact with He's on. Chin Yanren stayed in her grandfather's study for about 10 minutes before being invited out. The old man felt that Chin Yanren was too nagging, asking endless questions and talking. 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Chen Shu's bounties are wanted all over the Dragon Kingdom. Haiyu City. Chin Mingfeng stared at Chen Shu's reward like a wooden sculpture. He family, this kid Chen Shu just had a chance to go to school, but you ruined it. Chin Mingfeng sat on the chair and complained angrily. Haiyu number 1 middle school. Principal Feng sighed after briefly browsing the wanted list. He knows Chen Shu's character well and is a good student who studies hard. His character was impeccable in all aspects, but the only reason why he would kill a professional was that he was forced into a desperate situation. Feng Kang trusted Chen Shu immensely, but he also felt deeply powerless. The wanted orders of the Dragon Kingdom are not issued by ordinary people. They are all issued by powerful families and powerful people. At this moment, in a villa in Longdu, the man in the cloak stared at Chen Shu's wanted poster, and an evil smile appeared on the face in the cloak. The order is conveyed to every place, increase the search intensity, and report immediately if any trace of Chen Shu is found. Or reveal information about Chen Shu's whereabouts, so that our temple of killing will temporarily stop hunting Chen Shu. Yes. A member of the Killing Temple respectfully exited the room in the villa. Outside the barrier, Chen Shu was working hard to kill monsters, level 46 monsters were killed one by one with ease. From time to time, a strike would sweep through the entire army. Experience skyrocketed. As for the wanted manhunt outside, he had already been mentally prepared. If he was wanted, he would be wanted. No one knew where he was hiding anyway. The world outside the barrier is extremely vast. 99.9% .9 of the area is under the control of monsters. Finding Chen Shu is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Time is passing quietly, and in the first few days, many professionals are extremely excited. Who can resist the temptation of a generous reward of 10 million Dragon Country coins? However, no matter how hard we search, we still cannot find out the whereabouts of Chen Shu. It was as if he had completely disappeared from this world. Outside the barrier, not many people are willing to search. The main reason is that the level of danger is very high. It would be sad if Chen Shu did not find it but found the Abyss monster. Later, I don't know which friend leaked the information, it turned out that Chen Shu killed an 81 level thief. Those professionals who had taken over the task of Qian Zhao Zhao could not help but feel a chill behind their backs. If a professional at level 50 or 60 encounters Chen Shu, wouldn't it be a dead end? Everyone finally understood why the bounty for level 70 fugitives was only 1 million dragon country coins. And a warrior who is only level 36 can get a bounty of up to 10 million dragon country coins. There must be something fishy here. Chen Shu is definitely not an ordinary professional. As the investigation deepened, it was also revealed that Chen Shu was clearing the monster corridor at Longdu Professional University. He cleared the entire monster corridor in 41 seconds, shocking everyone. Let me go, who would issue such a mission? Isn't this asking people to die? That's right, with the speed of 41 seconds to clear the monster corridor, our god of war from the Dragon Kingdom once needed more than half an hour to clear the monster corridor. I heard that Chen Shu's attack power is astonishingly high. 
A single blow can cause 30 or 40,000 damage. In every corner, legends about Chen Shu swept like a storm, and eventually evolved into various bizarre versions. Someone actually stood up and claimed that Chen Shu was a member of the Temple of Killing. Some people even said with seriousness that Chen Shu was the son of the master of the Temple of Killing. In a certain corner of the battlefield, a figure looked at the communication bracelet on his wrist, and the corners of his mouth involuntarily raised slightly. He hopes to meet Chen Shu, a young man who has attracted great attention from the entire Dragon Kingdom. However, without approval from above, he could not leave the current battlefield privately. Time flies so fast, a month has passed in the blink of an eye. In the vast wilderness outside the barrier, a two-meter-tall whirlwind wolf was galloping past, leaving blurry shadows behind at its astonishing speed. In the level 51 monster area, the cyclone wolf stopped and crawled on the ground meekly. Chen Shu gently jumped off the wolf's back and gently stroked the wolf's head, letting it return to its territory. In this month, Chen Shu rose from level 36 to level 41. His growth rate is astonishing. However, the pace of upgrading has become slower and the required experience has become larger. If you can't find an intermediate experience copy and want to level up quickly, it seems that the only way to go home is to go home and sleep. Chen Shu looked at the level 51 monster in front of him and rushed forward with a wild goose feather knife. Congratulations on reaching level 10 and killing a level 51 armored cow. Your experience is plus 1020. Congratulations on reaching level 10 and killing a level 51 armored cow. Your experience is plus 1020. Experience is constantly accumulating, but the experience required for upgrading is getting larger and larger. Beautiful Haiyu City, the location of the primary copy. Yan Bing waited patiently outside the dungeon, and the students in class 1 had already begun their exploration of the dungeon. Chen Shu, where are you now? Yan Bing called silently in her heart, expecting to receive a message from Chen Shu, which would bring her peace of mind. After Chen Shu left, she sent two messages to Chen Shu, but each time she received no reply. Teacher Yan, are you thinking about something? A director of Donghai Vocational University came to Yan Bing and asked with concern. Nothing, I'm just thinking about how to help our students and give them access to difficult difficulty experiences as early as possible. Don't worry, they are currently in a dilemma of shortage of equipment and insufficient levels. We will wait until they can break through level 20. Indeed, waiting patiently is the best choice. Yan Bing sighed softly, it would be great if there were a few more soldiers like Chen Shu in the first class. A few hours later, Yan Bing led the team back to their residence. There were many hotels and restaurants where the primary copy was located. The price is quite affordable. Three students can share a room for only 200 RMB. This cost is fully borne by the school. In Dongling City, the school invests 10,000 Longguo coins in each student. Right now, the cost budget is only half of what was expected. Chen Shu also stopped for a short rest in the level 51 monster area. During the past month, Chen Shu has never checked his communication bracelet. When he took it out, he found that the messages on the communication bracelet kept flashing. Lan Yujiao, Bai Wanya, and Yan Bing, three people who had added friends, all sent messages. Chen Shu first read the message from Lan Yujiao. Chen Shu, what happened to you and why are you wanted? Are you safe now? Are you in danger? Chen Shu, if you have any difficulties, please feel free to contact me. Lan Yujiao sent a total of more than 10 messages of concern. Then came the news about Bai Wuya. Senior, you are so uninteresting that you left alone. I feel very disappointed. Where are you? Senior sister really misses you. Senpei is very lucky today, she has almost reached level 37. After reading Bai Wanya's concerns and complaints, Chen Shu opened the news about Yan Bing. Chen Shu, be sure to pay attention to safety outside. If you encounter any difficulties, ask me for help at any time. If you encounter provocation from other professionals, you must eradicate the root cause and eliminate the evidence. There are still 10 days left. Class 1 students are about to go to Haiyu to clear the dungeon. Chen Shu, are you okay outside? Both of Yan Bing's messages are full of care for Chen Shu. Chen Shu was silent for a while and then began to reply to the message. Hello Lan Yujiao. 
my communication bracelet has been kept in the warehouse from beginning to end and has never been taken out. I have good news for you. I am working hard to increase the level outside the barrier. Ha ha ha, it has reached level 41 now. Wait for you to see. After reading this message, please delete it yourself, for the sake of safety. Chen Shu sent the carefully written message to Lan Yujiao, and then began to write another message. Senior sister, I am currently killing monsters outside the barrier. Hee hee, I have been promoted to level 41. How do you feel? Are you envious? Please delete the message after reading it. Messages are sent as soon as they are edited. Then came the third message to Yan Bing, and Chen Shu began to think about how to answer. Teacher Yan, I am outside the barrier and have entered a new realm of level 41. I will return to the barrier when I reach level 50. I wish you all the best. Chen Shu sent the edited information to Yan Bing. Just a few seconds later, Lan Yujiao's message arrived as promised. Chen Shu, I will work harder. Chen Shu smiled and replied to Lan Yujiao with a smile. Bai Wanya's message followed. Chen Shu opened it and saw that it only consisted of two words. Jerk. Yan Bing did not reply immediately, and Chen Shu did not wait any longer and directly stored the communication bracelet back in the warehouse. Work hard to upgrade monsters, and only by being more tenacious and persistent can you reach level 50 as soon as possible. Fighting alone seems so lonely. Chen Shu waved his weapon mechanically, pausing when he was tired. After a short rest, he returned to the cycle of fighting. Time flies, and Chen Shu's level finally reaches level 42. However, the level 52 monster area is not near the level 51 monster. To get there, Chen Shu must cross many monster areas. When he Ajdi finally arrived at the level 52 monster area, the sight in front of him made him stunned. An impregnable fortress stands here like a giant tower. This fortress is not the one in Bashan City, it is larger and awe-inspiring. Standing on the fortress, the heavily armed soldiers are like steel warriors, ready to go. Mom sells batches, what's going on? Chen Shu knew nothing about this, so he was full of curiosity and decided to find out. As he approached the fortress, he immediately alerted the soldiers on the wall. Who's down there? The soldiers on the city wall immediately drew their bowstrings, and several other soldiers heard the news and came to provide reinforcements. Hello, I am a professional who spawns monsters in the wild. Can you allow me to go in and take a rest? This is an important military location. Non-military people are not allowed to enter at will. Please leave immediately. I see, thank you. Since this is a strategic military location, it is understandable that they are not allowed to enter. Chen Shu didn't hesitate at all, turned around and left the level 52 area. On the city wall, a soldier frowned and thought to himself, the young man just now looked familiar. No, he is the wanted professional Chen Shu, yes, that's him. The soldiers who reacted exclaimed, but Chen Shu's figure was already moving away. At this time, Chen Shu was heading towards the level 50 monster area. The level 51 monster has not been refreshed yet, and he does not want the baby to waste time. The soldiers in the fortress immediately reported the news to their superiors, and soon the news reached the ears of the He family. Chen Shu is just outside the barrier. This is the perfect time to eliminate him in one fell swoop. Guard Axiong was once injured by Chen Shu with a six-digit health volume, and the He family began to study it. They determined that Chen Shu had an extremely precious treasure on his body. This treasure could have a powerful counter-injury effect on physical attacks and was astonishingly powerful. This time, the He family carefully selected two mages and one shield warrior. The shield warrior is responsible for resisting from the front, while the mage is responsible for attacking Chen Shu from the rear. They didn't believe that Chen Shu had a treasure that could reflect spell damage. The old man of the He family wanted to capture Chen Shu alive and forced him to hand over the treasure. Because once a professional dies, all items on his body will disappear instantly. Chen Shu had no idea about the arrangements of the He family. He is now fully devoted to the process of killing monsters. It didn't take long before Chen Shu completely wiped out the level 50 monsters. When Chen Shu changed locations again, the mage and shield war sent by the He family had quickly left the fortress. Their goal is Chen Shu. They must find Chen Shu, and it is best to bring him back intact. If you can't capture him alive, you can at least bring back Chen Shu's body. 
However, what made the three of them angry was that Chen Shu suddenly disappeared without a trace. He was not in the nearby monster spawning area. Instead, he rushed to the level 40 whirlwind wolf area, hoping to catch a wolf to be his Zaluan. He planned to go to other places to see what good things there were. After all, this fortress was not set up here for no reason. There may be extremely important things here, such as abyss, copies, etc. When Chen Shu sat firmly on the back of the whirlwind wolf, two mages and a shield battle couldn't find Chen Shu. The speed of the whirlwind wolf is so fast that it comes and goes like a ghost without a trace. What's more, they couldn't catch Chen Shu's shadow at all, and the three of them could only circle around the level 52 area. This mission is really unlucky. Where did that little hide? Shield War first started cursing and wandered around for a long time, but didn't even see Chen Shu's shadow. How can the grumpy shield war endure such torture? Stop complaining. As long as you find or kill Chen Shu, you will get a reward of 10 million. Mr. He will also reward each of us with a level 80 equipment. That is genuine silver quality. Oh, I'm just complaining. For such a big benefit, I must find that guy. The dark wind blew, and the sky suddenly became dark. While the three of them were chatting, a black shadow quickly approached them. Suddenly, a black light flashed in front of a mage. The three people at the scene were still confused. Minus 13,207. A five-digit amount of damage appeared above the mage's head. Enemy attack, start quickly, shield. Another mage saw his companion being attacked and immediately activated the damage reduction shield. Shield fighting involves holding a large shield and looking around. Crack. Directly in front of the three people, there was the sound of trampling dead branches on the ground. A stunning beauty wearing a leather coat, her whole body covered with black energy, was walking slowly towards the three of them with cat steps. The response is quite fast. There are three living people today. The king will definitely like it, meow. In the shield battle ahead, explore the opponent's attributes. There was cold sweat on his forehead. Shadow Catwoman. Level. 90. Constitution. 7,500. Strength. 16,000. Agility. 6,300. Skills. Scratch, Bite, Stealth Kill, Charm, Rapid Assault, Humanoid Transformation, Heart Stab. The shield warriors in front found out that their attributes were worrying, while the mages in the rear were panicking. The skin is rough and the flesh is thick, so it can resist a shield battle. But how many attacks can a thin-skinned mage resist? The main reason is that the agility of many parties is too high, unless there are a large number of mages focusing fire, or group spells are released continuously. Lao Xie, what should I do? What can we do? We can only rely on Ah Shang to resist the monster. We can take the opportunity to attack it, otherwise the game will be over for the three of us. Delicious humans, have you discussed it? If the discussion is completed, the cat will attack fight to the death, or take advantage of the opportunity to escape. Ridicule. Shield fight used the taunting skill to immediately attract all the hatred to himself. Lao Xie, you and Lao Jin attack the monsters, I'm responsible for resisting them. The two mages behind him looked at each other, turned around and ran away without hesitation. The mage's escaping posture still shows his elegance, with his staff in one hand and his steps free and easy. They have no reluctance or nostalgia at all, and the safety of their companions or comrades, it has nothing to do with them. The two mages only care about how to save their lives. You, you too. Shield War looked at his escaping companions and gritted his teeth with hatred. Based on the current situation, he must have a narrow escape from death. There is no damage at all in shield combat. If you hit the Shadow Cat Demon, you will be forced to deduct one point of health points. Run. So, let us run together. Shield Ward gently put his giant shield into the warehouse, stepped forward, and chose to follow the direction the mage left. This is the iron law on the battlefield. If you can't outrun the monster, you just need to outrun your own companions. Ah Shang, you can try other directions, don't follow us. You two, run to the fortress and let me run somewhere else and dream. The two mages did not add agility, but the shield warrior secretly added 100 points of agility just to save their own lives. Just tens of seconds later, shield fighter had successfully caught up with the two mages. The shadow catwoman in the rear is exquisite and elegant, extraordinary in beauty and calm. With such a high agility, 
he can catch up with three people with just a little effort. However, Shadow Catwoman did not act hastily, but enjoyed the cat and mouse like game, slowly toying with the three humans in front of her. When the three were only a few miles away from the fortress, they discovered that another Shadow Catwoman appeared in front of them. You, when Mr. Shield Fighter saw the Shadow Catwoman in front of him, he couldn't help but curse. Without thinking, the battle suddenly turned left. The two mages chose to turn right. They were unwilling to run with the shield battle, mainly because they couldn't run away from the shield battle. The two shadow catwomen began to act separately, and the cat and mouse game started again. Why didn't the three of them be killed immediately? The queen of shadow catwomen wanted to eat fresh human flesh. When professionals fight, their health points are displayed digitally. As long as the health value in the blood tank reaches zero, they will become flesh and blood. Therefore, the monsters in the abyss prefer to taste the delicious meat of those professionals who have just died. After two hours of chasing and driving, the three of them finally arrived at the entrance of the abyss. It's over, we have been plotted, they are trying to catch us into the abyss. A mage's eyes were empty. Thinking of the terrifying abyss, he could no longer run. In fact, they seem to want to take us to the edge of the abyss and then start. Shield War gave his own opinion, an absolutely accurate answer. Meow, this human being's wisdom is amazing. A soft cat meow seemed to be a signal, and it also attracted more shadow catwomen. In just one minute, three professionals sent by Mr. E's parents died. Meow, quickly dedicate these human corpses to the queen. I am going to go somewhere else. Meow, several catwomen respectfully carried the bodies of the three professionals into the endless abyss. Chen Shu drives the whirlwind wolf around. Although I didn't find the ideal copy, I accidentally discovered an ideal place to spawn monsters. There are a large number of monsters here, and the transition between levels is natural. It completely eliminates the situation where level 50 monsters are surrounded by level 42 monsters. Haha, <laughs> although I didn't find the entrance to the dungeon, it's good to be able to spawn monsters here. The whirlwind wolf was left aside by Chen Shu. Instead of running away, it huddled beside a rock with its tail between its legs. There are level 50 monsters all around, and it doesn't know where to run. Chen Shu temporarily ignored the whirlwind wolf. After the skill expired, the whirlwind wolf was free. Holding the wild goose hunting knife in hand, Chen Shu rushed towards the dense group of monsters. The experience value is increasing steadily, and he is one step closer to his current goal. When he killed the last level 51 monster and was about to sit down and rest. The level 52 monster area next door caught his attention. The number of monsters there was even denser, making it a good place to gain experience. However, not long after I sat down, I didn't have time to take a few sips of the pure water in my hand. A black shadow flashed past him. The pure water in my hand disappeared out of thin air. If I go, someone will even snatch the pure water. Chen Shu looked at his empty right hand and couldn't help but look up at the black shadow. Meow, this water tastes so delicious. Chen Shu staggered and almost lost his balance when he saw a scantily clad woman tasting his pure water. Then he checked the woman's attributes. Shadow Catwoman. Level. 92. Constitution. 7700. Strength. 16800. Agility. 6500. Skills. Scratch, Stealth Kill, Ambush, Charm, Rapid Assault, Humanoid Transformation, Heart Stab. Mom, there are monsters over level 90 here. Shadow Catwoman stretched out her left hand and waved it in the air. Human, you are so rude. I am the Queen's Guard, not a monster. The Queen's Guards, Chen Shu thought of the Tarantula Queen that he had killed before, and there was only such and such a king in the abyss. It is certain that the shadow catwoman in front of me is a creature from the abyss. Gudong, Gudong, the half bottle of pure water was actually drank by shadow catwoman. Human, are there any other delicious food? If it satisfies me, maybe it can make your walk more comfortable. Haha, ha, I have a lot of delicious food here, but why should I give it to you? Walking more comfortably, how comfortable can it be? Meow, I'll let you die by Charming's hand. Chen Shu slowly stood up from the ground and spun around Shadow Catwoman. For an instant, Shadow Catwoman looked very surprised. It's interesting that you monsters can actually turn into human form. However, your pair of cat ears is the biggest flaw. 
This tail is also a flaw. If they are hidden, they can freely go to human areas and taste delicious food. Chen Shu explained with a smile. Dot 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 dot. Oh, Shadow Catwoman's interest couldn't help but be aroused, is what you said the truth. Chen Shu nodded firmly, and the Shadow Catwoman activated her skills. A pair of cat ears were quickly replaced by human ears, and the cat tail behind her gradually disappeared. Chen Shu's eyes widened and he looked at the scene happening in front of him in disbelief. It turns out that monsters from the abyss can transform into humans, so are these monsters already hiding in many cities? Where exactly is the area where humans live? Shadow Catwoman looked at Chen Shu curiously and asked eagerly. Actually, it's inside the barrier, in that direction. Chen Shu pointed. When it comes to barriers, Shadow Catwoman's face is filled with regret and helplessness. Forget it, most warriors can't penetrate the barrier, and I can't go inside the barrier to taste delicious food, but I will reward you if you give it to the queen. Shadow Catwoman reveals an important message, most monsters of the abyss cannot cross the barrier. Only then did Chen Shu understand why the abyss monsters launched a beast wave. It turned out that it was just to obtain human corpses. Those monsters that can be continuously updated and generated can freely travel between the barriers, so they are always driven by the abyss monsters that can cross the barriers. If all the abyss monsters could cross the barrier, humanity would probably be done with it long ago. At this moment, Chen Shu found a comfortable place to sit down. He took out two pieces of delicious compressed dry food from the warehouse, enjoying one piece alone, and gently gave the other piece to Shadow Catwoman. Delicious creamy taste, try it. Don't try to capture or hurt me. What I want to say is that you are not my opponent. As long as you can come and chat with me every day, I will give you such a delicious piece of food. Brushing monsters alone is an extremely boring process. With the appearance of a Shadow Catwoman, the monotonous life becomes richer. Shadow Catwoman stared at the compressed dry food in her hands. Turning around to look at Chen Shu who was eating with gusto, he carefully took a small bite. Chen Shu looked at Shadow Catwoman expectantly. Will she agree to her proposal? It might be a shame to kill this monster who can bring fun to chat. Chapter 91 It's so delicious. I have never tried such delicious food. Shadow Catwoman's eyes sparkled with endless joy. A piece of compressed biscuit was swallowed by her almost instantly. Is there more? I want another piece. Chen Shu shook his head without hesitation. Only one piece is provided every day. If you want to taste it again, you can only wait until tomorrow. Shadow Catwoman swallowed hard and wandered around Chen Shu for a long time. She looked as cute as a family pet cat. The compressed dry food is no longer available. Would you like to try an energy bar? Shadow Catwoman nodded vigorously, her eyes full of anticipation. What Chen Shu brought out were all extremely precious foods, all delicacies that had never been tasted before. An energy bar was handed to Shadow Catwoman. Shadow Catwoman was so excited that she quickly tore open the package. The cookies exuded the aroma of milk. Just smelling this aroma made Shadow Catwoman salivate. An energy bar was eaten by Shadow Catwoman in several bites. Ah, Shadow Catwoman made a satisfied sound, then found a comfortable position to sit down, trying to relax her body. You said I'm no match for you. You're only level 42, so how can you defeat me? After filling her stomach with 750, Shadow Catwoman started talking with Chen Shu. I'm not lying to you. Next we can go to the level 52 monster area. You will understand after seeing it. I'm not very interested in the significance of that kind of low-level creature. Then just watch how I defeat them, and shout 666 for me. Call 666. Is there anything delicious? Not yet, but I will give you a bottle of pure water as a reward. Is it that sweet water? Chen Shu nodded. He still had a lot of pure water stored in his warehouse, enough for him to use for several days. Then I will call 666 for you, but, human, can you tell me your name? My name is Chen Shu. My name is Mao Juling. After a long time, Shadow Catwoman Cat Juling sat quietly on the ground. Chen Shu among the monsters was frantically killing monsters. Damage values exceeding 30,000 each floated from the heads of the monsters. Mao Juling looked at her damage value in shock and meowed involuntarily. However, she still firmly believes that Dongya is difficult to defeat. When Chen Shu killed all the monsters, Mao Juling looked at Chen Shu carefully. 
Your attack power is amazing, but you still can't defeat me because my agility is far greater than yours. Mao Juling is full of confidence. She has an agility of 6,500. It is absolutely impossible for Chen Shu to get close to her. Ha! Do you know where the level 92 monster is? Mao Juling nodded firmly. Little wolf, come to me. Chen Shu called out loudly, and the whirlwind wolf jumped out from behind a rock. Mao Juling, we are about to enter the level 92 monster area, and you will serve as our guide to guide us. Is there any delicious food as a reward? Cat Juling only sees food and doesn't care about anything else. Chen Shu took out a bottle of juice and shook it gently in his hand. Let us set off immediately to find out where the level 92 monster is. Chen Shu cast a look of approval, then sat astride the whirlwind wolf's back. The whirlwind wolf was speeding across the vast grassland, with Mao Juling sitting in front and Chen Shu sitting behind Mao Juling. After an hour of running, they finally arrived at the level 92 monster area. Chen Shu explores the monster's attributes. Rock monster. Level. 92. Constitution. 5000. Strength. 12000. Agility. 650. Skills. Petrification. Furious smashing. Violent crushing. Landslide and ground cracking. Mao Juling. Go kill a rock monster and see how long it takes. Chen Shu, who was sitting in the back, patted Mao Juling on the shoulder. I can kill this kind of garbage in just a few seconds. Mao Juling jumped up lightly, turned into a black stream of light, and rushed towards the rock monster. Just as Mao Juling said, in just a few seconds, the rock monster fell to the ground. Chen Shu jumped off the back of the whirlwind wolf and sneered towards the rock monster area. And Mao Juling walked up to Chen Shu with cat steps, her face filled with the joy of success. Mao Erling, open your eyes and see how I kill these rock monsters. Chen Shu did not take out the Yanling knife, but put his hands in his pockets and walked towards the rock monster casually. Minus 7525. Minus 752500. Minus 7318. Minus 731800. Two rock monsters roared towards Chen Shu, and two damage figures floated from Chen Shu's board. However, the terrifying six-digit damage caused the two rock monsters to instantly return to zero health. Meow, Mao Juling was so frightened that her hair stood on end. Such an astonishing injury left her in awe. After the two rock monsters fell, Chen Shu flashed and returned to Mao Juling. At this time, Mao Juling finally believed that Chen Shu had not deceived her and that she really could not fight against him. After this contest, Mao Juling understood that she no longer insisted on competing with Chen Shu, and she did not dare to act rashly. Return to the level 50 monster area. Chen Shu held a wild goose feather knife and began to harvest monsters. Chen Shu is really awesome, Chen Shu 666. Since you can't defeat the other party and the other party is willing to give you a variety of delicious food, why don't you temporarily join the other party and become friends? After all, in the world of monsters, friends are a very important resource. When we have food and drink, we are friends, and when we are at the end of our rope, we are food. Chen Shu, who was among the monsters, had a smile on his face. Someone shouted 666 from behind. He was indeed no longer alone when spawning monsters. In half an hour, all level 52 monsters were cleared by Chen Shu. When he sat down to rest, Mao Juling stretched out his white and tender hands. Reward, international sweet water. Mao Juling asked for the reward straightforwardly. Chen Shu didn't hesitate at all and took out pure water and juice directly from the warehouse and handed them to Mao Juling. They shouted 666 for half an hour, and their throats were filled with smoke. A bottle of purified water should also be used. There is also a bottle of juice as a reward for Mao Juling to lead the way. Chen Shu is such a good human being. I must treasure this sweet water. Chen Shu doesn't mind what decision Mao Juling makes. No matter when she tastes it in the future, it will be her treasure and leave it to her to handle. In the next few days, Chen Shu took Mao Juling to various areas to kill monsters. Mao Juling sat on the open ground and silently cheered for Chen Shu. When he got tired, he took a rest on the ground. After Chen Shu defeated the monster, Cat Juling would pester Chen Shu and ask about the delicacies of the human world. At noon on the fifth day, a gentle white light fell on Chen Shu, and his level was instantly raised to level 43. 
Suddenly, Chen Shu was still chatting with Mao Juling as usual. Chen Shu, what is the most delicious dish you have ever eaten? The most delicious food, what's the best food Chen Shu has ever tasted since coming to Water Blue Planet? There seems to be nothing. However, he remembered the best meal he had ever eaten on earth, a steaming bowl of noodles. That was the noodles Chen Shu tasted after he was rescued from the predicament by rescuers in the morning after the disaster. Having been hungry for two days, he felt that this noodle was more delicious than any food in the world. With the grief of losing his loved ones, he ate the entire bowl of noodles with tears, and even drank the soup base. The sad memories of the past made Chen Shu lose his mind and fell into deep thought, which in turn aroused Mao Ling's deeper curiosity. Chen Shu, tell me quickly. Meow, Mao Erling, the most delicious food I have ever eaten is a bowl of plain noodles. Although the noodles are simple and unpretentious, they are full of warmth. Mao Juling didn't know what noodles were, but what Chen Shu said was so tempting that he couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of saliva. Mao Erling, what kind of food do you usually eat? Have you ever eaten humans? Chen Shu saw Mao Juling's drooling look, so he couldn't help but ask a question. I mainly feed on the meat of low-level beasts and have never touched human flesh. I am just a scout in the royal guards and am not qualified to enjoy such treatment. Mao Juling stretched out her little hand and shook it vigorously. The world we live in is very hierarchical, and each level has its own treatment. In our world, I am just a junior soldier. Chen Shu listened carefully to Mao Juling's explanation. What a magical existence the abyss world is, Chen Shu's desire for knowledge gradually emerged in his heart. Despite this, he still knew his own strength and put this curious thought aside for the time being. He family in Longdu. The three professionals sent by the old man seemed to have disappeared from the world, and no one knew their whereabouts. In the study room, Hizan sat quietly next to the old man, looking at the old man expectantly. Grandpa, do you think Uncle Shang and the others have successfully completed their mission? Why haven't you received any information from Uncle Shang and the others yet? The old man stroked Hizan's head kindly and affectionately, and comforted in a low voice. Xiao Zan, Chen Shu will not stay in a fixed place waiting for us to find it. Ah Shang and the three of them need to search everywhere to find it. There is hope that Chen Shu can be found. As long as Chen Shu can be found as soon as possible, we can eliminate this hidden danger and restore social peace. There was a cold light in the old man's eyes, and he simply regarded the so-called genius as a floating cloud. He firmly believes that as long as he dares to confront the He family, even geniuses will face a devastating blow. At this time, there was a rush of footsteps outside the study, followed by a gentle knock on the door. Come in, the old man shouted towards the door calmly. The study door was gently pushed open. A middle-aged man slowly walked into the study and stood respectfully beside the old man when he saw him. Father, Ah Shang and the others encountered misfortune. The old man was slightly startled after hearing the report, and raised his eyes to look deeply at the third son who was reporting the situation. Lao San, what happened to Ah Shang and the others? The man respectfully handed a communication bracelet to the old man. The old man opened the bracelet, and the news on it shocked him. I don't know who the person who received the message is, but I want to say that the human flesh scent tastes average. I will be happy to accept it when I send some young humans. The old man sighed deeply and dropped the message on his bracelet. Lao San, Ah Shang and the others died in the mouth of the abyss monster. This news was sent by the abyss monster through Ah Shang's communication bracelet. What do you think about this matter? Father, I think we should stop sending professionals outside the barrier. Abyssal monsters there frequently appear, and the risk is too high. The old man thought for a moment and then said, please inform the professional associations in each city. As long as Chen Shu uses the teleportation array, report it to the general association immediately. I will obey my father's orders. The middle-aged man nodded respectfully, stood up and left the study. Looking at the three sons leaving, the old man sighed softly, Xiao Xuan, we will postpone the search for Chen Shu. Next, we will use the strategy of waiting and waiting. Well, Rikichi will follow grandpa's arrangements. Li Zan responded cleverly. In her heart, she longs for Chen Shu to die as soon as possible, but she does not have enough power to destroy Chen Shu herself, so she still has to rely on the power of her family. Time flies by like a flash, and more than ten days have passed in the blink of an eye. 
the reserves in Chen Shu's warehouse are running low. With the addition of Mao Juling, a foodie, not only did the energy bar consumption speed up, there was not even a single piece of compressed dry food left. At this moment, replenishing supplies has become a top priority. Mao Juling, I need to go back to the city to replenish supplies. What are your plans? I'll wait here for you to come back. You need to buy more delicious food. Chen Shu smiled slightly. These days, 17 pieces of level 50 black iron equipment have been harvested. Selling these pieces of equipment can be exchanged for a large amount of food and pure water. Chen Shu packed the equipment in the boarding bag. After dressing up, he began to shuttle through the monster areas of various levels. Mao Juling looked at Chen Shu's retreating back and scratched his ears, his heart filled with longing for delicious food. Without the teleportation array in use, Chen Shu returned to Baishan City at noon one day later. When he set foot in Baishan City, he felt a peculiar atmosphere pervading the whole city. Chen Shu couldn't explain exactly what this atmosphere was. Official exchange, Chen Shu will definitely not go. He is also a wanted criminal, so going there means throwing yourself into a trap. Private exchanges are Chen Shu's best choice. 17 pieces of level 50 equipment were sold for 200,000 Dragon Country coins. With the Dragon Country coins in your pocket, choose a meal for your child. After eating and drinking, Chen Shu took the money and went straight to the supply store. This time we focus on replenishing energy bars, so be sure to buy all the energy bars in various flavors. Naturally, pure water cannot be ignored, and water outside the barrier cannot be drunk casually. The two warehouses were packed tightly, and even the hiking bags were filled with all kinds of food. When Chen Shu walked out of Baishan City, not far from the city gate, Wu, a piercing siren sounded in Baishan City. The two towering city gates closed instantly. The war is imminent, this is Chen Shu's first reaction. The arrival of the Beast Tide will put the entire city into a state of tense preparation for war. Chen Shu was a little curious, when did the Beast Tide form? When he came over, why didn't he find any sign of the Beast Tide? Chen Shu couldn't help but touched his cheek. In fact, Chen Shu rushed back to Baishan City from the northeast. And the Beast Tide roared from the northwest, and it was impossible to hit them halfway. All main combat professionals who go to the city wall must not violate the rules. All main combat professionals go up to the city wall and are not allowed to disobey. The loudspeakers in the city played continuously. Chen Shu, who was standing outside the city, could hear it clearly. At this time, all the main combat professionals from various departments went to the city wall. The destruction of the city and the death of people are related to every professional and the relatives behind them. Some people will cheat and cheat in this critical situation, but if they are found out, they will be severely punished by the city capital. At this time, the city walls of Baishan City are already filled with professionals. Warriors and shield warriors stood on the outer edge of the city wall, followed by archers and mages, while thieves flexibly shuttled around various locations, always ready for support. The auxiliary professionals stand at the back and provide buffs to the main combat professionals. Everyone, we in Baishan City encounter dozens of large or small beast tides every year, and today's beast tide is particularly huge. Today's beast tide is mixed with high-level monsters, and the danger level is higher than before. Professionals, if the city is destroyed, the home will not survive. For our common home, we must protect every inch of the city wall. The loudspeakers in the city rang out the sonorous and powerful voice of the city head. Defend Baishan City and protect our common home. Above the city wall, the president of the Baishan Professionals Association shouted loudly. Yes, Baishan City cannot fall, and our home cannot wither. I have family and children to take care of behind me. I will go all out and fight to the end. There were impassioned voices everywhere on the city walls. In Baishan City, life professionals and unawakened children all entered underground shelters. Even if a flying monster attacks, it will not pose a threat to them. Rumble. There was a sound of earth shaking in the distance. Everyone raised their heads and looked into the distance. All the beasts are galloping and the darkness is overwhelming, as if dark clouds are looming overhead. Brothers, if I unfortunately die in battle, please remember to collect my body for me. A warrior raised his axe and threw these words towards the people behind him. We must hold on to the city wall and resist the monster's first attack. 
The people on the city wall raised their arms and shouted passionately. But Chen Shu appeared under the city wall carrying a backpack. Faced with the disaster, Chen Shu decided to come forward regardless of whether the identity of the wanted criminal would be exposed. He understood that his enemy was the He family, not all professionals. Hey, why is this little brother outside the city? Go around to another city gate as soon as possible and ask them to let you in. That's right, there is nothing left to be slaughtered outside the city. Please hurry up, there is still a chance now. The two professionals on the city wall found Chen Shu under the city wall and immediately shouted to him. Chen Shu turned around and smiled, feeling warm in his heart. When faced with a crisis, he felt warmed by the care and comfort of others. I am here to fight to the death to resist the beast tide. If everyone is united, Baishan City will be safe and sound. Chen Shu faced the people behind him and waved his arms vigorously. The people on the city wall didn't know how to answer the question, and the people under the city wall were unwilling to return to the city to jointly resist the beast tide. Everyone present was stunned for a moment. Seeing that the persuasion was fruitless, the two assistants quickly walked out from behind. Congratulations on getting the damage buff. Your own damage will be increased by 15% for 10 minutes. Congratulations on getting the defense buff. Your own defense increases by 10% for 15 minutes. Two beeps sounded at the same time. Thank you for blessing me. Chen Shu expressed his sincere thanks to the assistants on the city wall. Rumble. The figure of the monster is gradually approaching. When the monster is still 100 meters away from the city wall. Chen Shu held the Yanling knife and went to kill him. Total annihilation. Chen Shu rushed towards the monsters and swept through the entire army with one strike. 30 monsters were killed. The sword is everywhere, another group attack skill, a string of damage emerged from the monster's head, and 100 monsters fell down together. At this moment, on top of the towering and solid city wall of Bashan City, all the people were in deep shock, staring at everything on the ground. The huge damage value has far exceeded everyone's imagination and understanding. How powerful are the warriors fighting on the ground? How amazing is his level? The president of Bashan City Professionals Association, this level 81 warrior who has experienced hundreds of battles. His current strength attribute is only about 14,970. Under the city wall, after Chen Shu released two group attack skills, he decisively switched to single target massacre mode. Monsters below level 60 will be stabbed once, and monsters above level 60 will be stabbed twice. The monsters coming to attack this time are mainly level 50. For Chen Shu, it is like an extremely rich copy of experience points. Therefore, this is one of the important reasons why he returned to the city to assist in guarding. Faced with such a good opportunity, Chen Shu naturally worked harder and enjoyed it. Mages and archers, act quickly. When the monster is restrained, launch a fierce attack. Located on the city wall, mages and archers of all levels are attacking monsters in an orderly manner according to pre-planned plans. Firewall, sky full of ice and snow. Ground thorn raid. Burst, a rain of arrows from the sky. The skills of mages and archers exploded far away from Chen Shu. Some monsters with lower levels were instantly killed by intensive spells. At this time, many zombies suddenly arrived in the Bashan City Professionals Association. These professionals who came to assist were all elites in cities in Fengbei province. With their full help, I believe Bashan City will be able to successfully defend the city. Under the city wall, Chen Shu killed a monster with one blow. Total annihilation. When the cooling time is over, cast it again immediately. And when professionals from all over the city climbed onto the city wall, they witnessed a chilling sight. The warrior who charged into battle below the city tower was undoubtedly amazed and awe-inspiring with his astonishing damage value. Such a warrior can be called a meat grinder on the battlefield and a well-deserved god-killing warrior. Therefore, some people began to use communication bracelets to record this shocking moment. Just as everyone was using their communication bracelets, a minotaur wearing black armor suddenly appeared behind the monster. The tauren's body is surrounded by black energy, and its eyes are full of bloodthirsty and murderous intent. A huge black arrow pointed directly at Chen Shu's chest. Chen Shu is about to be attacked. However, he had no idea about this. There are all kinds of monsters around, blocking part of the site. 
He himself does not have sensitive perception ability, so he seems to be unable to cope with possible raids. Fortunately, he has the talent to counterattack a hundred times physical damage, so he is no longer afraid of physical attacks. There was a shocking sound of air tearing in the air. When he saw the huge arrow piercing the air and approaching Chen Shu, he didn't even try to avoid it. Minus 19,320. An arrow accurately hit Chen Shu, and a five-digit hit point was deducted from his head. Minus 1,932,000. With a hundredfold counterattack, the Torin in black armor was directly cleared of his health tank. Your Majesty, I finally got through the barrier. It's not that my men didn't work hard enough, it's just that they are really powerless. The Torin felt very sad, and he tried his best to organize an unprecedented large beast tide. I originally hoped to bring back a lot of fresh human flesh delicacies to the king, but unexpectedly it died inexplicably. Why did the health tank suddenly disappear? As a giant blood cow with 300,000 health points, it was puzzled. The death of the black-armored Torin did not attract the attention of the professionals on the city wall. Because of the relatively long distance, no one on the city wall noticed the Torin who were fighting back. No one paid too much attention to Chen Shu's decline in health. There are too many monsters, and mages and archers are very busy. In their spare time, the warriors were always watching the movement beside the city wall, and also did not pay attention to the changes in the book's health value. Chen Shu was fighting bloody battles among the monsters. He had no time to care about who he injured, nor did he care which eyeless monster dared to sneak up on him. After the death of the black-armored Torin, the monsters at the scene began to become restless. Some lower-level monsters began to run away. Some monsters with higher levels chose to return the same way, and some monsters were looting the corpses of the people who bought them alive. The professionals on the city wall saw hope and increased their output. Mages and archers violently attacked the scattered monsters. Various cool group skills are released immediately. Chen Shu ran forward all the way because a golden light attracted him. When he arrived at the location of the golden light, a huge corpse appeared in front of him. A group of monsters bit at the corpse, completely ignoring Chen Shu who was approaching. Although the grade of the corpse could no longer be checked, the treasure box next to the corpse made him excited. However, Chen Shu did not open the treasure box. Instead, he took out a box of pure water from the warehouse and put the treasure box back into the warehouse. After doing this, Chen Shu looked back at Bashan City and left without hesitation. Most of the monsters outside the dust wall of Bashan City have retreated, and the remaining brainless ones are destined to be killed. The culprit of this beast tide has been killed. As for the subsequent finishing work, Chen Shu obviously didn't want to get involved anymore. On the city wall of Bashan City, many professionals were cheering and celebrating. This battle was unprecedented, not a single professional in Bashan City was killed. The monster attacked the city and could not even climb the city wall. The soldiers standing on the city wall became spectators watching the battle. The main ones who took action were archers and mages, who became the protagonists in this battle to defend the city. Thank you for coming to Bashan City to provide reinforcements. On behalf of the Professionals Association of Bashan City and the general citizens of Bashan City, I would like to thank you for your assistance. After the battle, the president of the Bashan City Professionals Association expressed his heartfelt thanks to the professionals in each city. President Yu, you're welcome. Compatriots should support each other as a matter of course. Yes, we are all brothers and sisters from the same province, there is no reason to be polite. Today was really fun, the monsters were killed to pieces. Quote, everyone sat around the city wall and chatted. Suddenly someone exclaimed, isn't that soldier just now the criminal wanted by the Dragon Kingdom? That's the person who caused trouble in the city before. Chen Shu, several professional association presidents on the city wall shouted in unison. This matter does not seem to be simple. Chen Shu devoted himself to the battle to defend the city without hesitation, and even broke into the beast tide alone. Is such a brave man really a wanted criminal? Hey, Chen Shu is a professional from Donghai province. He was once a freshman. I didn't expect that he would step forward to defend the city for us. Such a heroic act is really rare. Two professionals from Bashan City expressed their true feelings. They did not believe that Chen Shu was a heinous criminal and suspected that there was something else hidden. All professionals are aware of the power structure of the Dragon Kingdom. 
No matter what, Chen Shu has helped Baishan City, he is Baishan City's friend. I will definitely not report Chen Shu, let alone target him. Another professional from Baishan City bravely expressed his true thoughts. Some professionals may have been tempted by high bonuses. But after seeing Chen Shu's amazing performance, I have given up this idea. The amount of damage is shocking. Of course, what cannot be ignored is Chen Shu's high agility, which is faster than a level 60 thief. Lao Yu, we have received information from Longdu that we are going to report Chen Shu's use of the teleportation array. What do you think of this matter? What a nonsense. Did Longdu send people to defend the city? I sent out an emergency message for help. The scale of this beast wave was unprecedented. As a result, none of the people who received the message for help came. Quote, the president of Bayshin Professionals Association spit on the ground. It's true, there are so many experts in Longdu, but no one comes to Bayshin. It's really disappointing. We in Fengbei province have never met Chen Shu, and we know nothing about him. The president of another city waved his hand. Yes, Lao Sha is right, Fengbei province has never seen Chen Shu, we don't know at all. Brothers, our Bayshin Professionals Association is treating us to a treat today. We'll have enough wine and food. Now that the matter has come to an end, Chen Shu's matters have been put on hold for the time being. The next step is of course to celebrate the victory of defending the city. After all, this was the first time a city defense battle had occurred without any casualties. On the city wall, everyone gradually dispersed, and the professionals association decided not to report the matter of Chen Shu for the time being. However, Longdu's spy is hidden in Baishan City, and Chen Shu's affairs will eventually be exposed. There are also some professionals who have already uploaded exciting videos of Chen Shu killing monsters to professional websites. However, their videos were immediately restricted from dissemination and even banned directly. Of course, some people don't want everyone to know about Chen Shu, let alone have everyone admire him. But there are always fast-moving people who secretly download videos, and Principal Wei is one of them. In the principal's office of Donghai Vocational University, Principal Wei looked at the downloaded video and said to himself with a smile, this kid actually ran to Baishan, fought bravely in the beast tide, and became stronger again. Just a few minutes later, Principal Wei sent the video to Yan Bing and told her not to leak it after watching it. When Yan Bing opened the video, you can imagine her shock. I saw Chen Shu facing hordes of monsters, waving his blade alone, killing monsters one after another. With strong skills and fast shuttle, the fallen monsters are like fallen straws. Would she dare to intrude into such a horde of beasts? To be honest, she didn't have the guts. If she really went in and fought, she might not be able to escape unscathed. There is another key factor, level. Chen Shu's level is less than half of hers. Imagine how powerful Chen Shu would be if he reached Yan Bing's level. Watching the video, Yan Bing couldn't help but smile. Chen Shu was his student. Although Donghai Vocational University had expelled Chen Shu, Yan Bing recognized this student in his heart. However, thinking of Chen Shu's current situation, her anger could not be suppressed. If the He family hadn't appeared in Tangling City, Chen Shu would be on campus at this moment, listening to her explanation as before. On a certain battlefield in the Dragon Kingdom, a group of senior generals watched Chen Shu's video. They were shocked and doubtful. Why is Chen Shu so powerful? Is it true that he has awakened some special talent as the rumors say? From this point of view, Chen Shu can be called a genius, a genius with lots of lucky cells. Next, sensitive information about Chen was quietly deleted or hidden. The wanted poster still stands and cannot be removed in a short time. In fact, the He family did not want Chen Shu's arrest warrant to be revoked. After all, he was the one who killed the He family. The next day arrived as expected. Chen Shu returned to the area where he had previously spawned monsters. However, what shocked him was that Mao Juling had disappeared without a trace. Backquote Kitten, Cat Juling, Money, Chen Shu waved his hands and shouted loudly toward the desolate wilderness, trying to find Mao Juling. However, what awaited him was a soundless silence. Cat Jujiang seemed to have really left. Looking at the empty front, I couldn't help but feel a little disappointed. Chen Shu's yelling failed to summon the cat Juling, but instead summoned a level 52 monster. Chen Shu put down the pure water in his hand without hesitation, 
quickly picked up the Anling knife and faced him. Between the light of the sword and the shadow of the sword, waves of attacks like wind and rain followed one after another. As the battle progressed, Chen Shu gradually killed all the level 52 monsters. After the battle, Chen Shu sat on an exposed rock, filled with worry. Where did Mao Julin go? Has she quietly returned to the abyss? In the past few days, Mao Juling's mischief, 666's compliments, and their humorous and interesting conversations have all become a bright spot in Chen Shu's boring upgrade journey. Chen Shu sighed helplessly, feeling gloomy but feeling helpless. After sitting alone in silence for more than 10 minutes, Chen Shu suddenly remembered the golden treasure box he had obtained. Chen Shu was full of expectations to see what kind of surprises he could get out of it. After being mentally prepared, Chen Shu carefully opened the golden treasure box. Perhaps Chen Shu's good luck came and was protected by invisible forces. The golden treasure chest did not show the golden light reaching the sky. Instead, it emits an extremely dazzling white light. Chen Shu's hands trembled slightly, and he was very excited. This is another top quality platinum quality treasure. Just don't know what it is. Weapons or equipment. The dazzling white light gradually dissipated, and a necklace gradually appeared in front of Chen Shu's eyes. The moment he saw the level of the necklace, his mood instantly dropped. It's actually a level 90 platinum necklace. If you want to successfully wear it, it will take a year or two if you're lucky. If you're not lucky, then you have to wait and see. Chen Shu quickly adjusted his mentality and began to carefully observe the properties of the necklace. Bloodthirsty necklace. Quality. Platinum. Attribute, plus 850 spirit. Level, LV.90. Additional skills, blood sucking. When performing physical or magical attacks, it can absorb 10% of the opponent's lost blood and ignores the opponent's abnormal status and is invalid when attacking undead monsters. Additional special effects, no level restrictions. Mom, this necklace is simply the best fighter. Chen Shu jumped up with excitement. This is a top quality platinum necklace with no level restrictions. Mainly level 90 necklaces, with levels and attributes listed there. If it is only level 20 or 30, its value cannot be compared with it. And that additional skill is also called a magic skill, it can absorb 10% of the enemy's blood loss. For a warrior like Chen Shu who is good at close combat, it is undoubtedly an excellent match. The disappointment of Mao Juling's departure was immediately replaced by the joy of receiving the best equipment. Chen Shu did not hesitate to take off the original queen necklace and replace it with this level 90 bloodthirsty necklace. Picking up the queen's necklace 930 in her hand, Chen Shu felt a little hesitant. This necklace is also considered a small masterpiece. Should I sell it for money, or keep it as a spare? For the time being, Chen Shu is not short of money, at least he doesn't need to spend a lot of money to buy equipment. What's more, he can't afford truly top quality equipment. Chen Shu puts the queen's necklace into the warehouse and controls a monster as a mount when necessary, which is quite satisfying. Rested in place for half an hour, Chen Shu put the bottled pure water on the ground into the warehouse, shouldered a mountaineering bag, and stepped into the level 50 area crowded with monsters. Time flies by like a blink of an eye, and ten days pass in the blink of an eye. While struggling to clear monsters in various areas, Chen Shu was always looking for the cat Juling who shouted 666. But at this moment, Mao Juling is receiving severe punishment. In a closed cell at the bottom of the abyss, Mao Juling huddled in the center, looking haggard. Mao Juling, you useless piece of trash, you can't do anything, you are the first to eat, and you completely waste the food we cherish. Your stupidity makes me feel extremely angry, why didn't the queen get rid of you? Quote. A shadow catwoman looked at Mao Juling outside the cell door and kept taunting her. Mao Juling in the cell buried her head deeply in her arms. She chose to ignore Mao Kia's abuse and ridicule for the time being. Mao Juling, who was full of grievances, just wanted to say, is her love for food wrong? Is it wrong to eat too much? She eats so much food but is still slim and good looking. Why can't she eat more? Is it just because she failed to capture humans and occasionally behaved too cutely that people looked down upon her? Seeing that the cat AJFI, Juling turned a deaf ear to his abuse. Mao Kie felt unhappy, snorted coldly, and left with an eyebrow. Mao Juling heard Mao Kie's footsteps gradually moving away and looked up outside the cell. Chen Shu, 
have you returned outside the barrier? I just want to taste the delicious food you brought back. Mao Juling thought silently in his heart, the food in the abyss is simply incomparable to the food brought by Chen Shu. At this moment, Mao Juling really wanted to escape from this prison that restricted freedom. She deeply regretted why she chose to leave before Chen Shu returned, and why she couldn't wait a little longer. However, Chen Shu knew nothing about this, and he also had no clue about Mao Juling's whereabouts. All we can do now is let nature take its course. When the afterglow of the setting sun fills the earth, Chen Shu sat on the top of a giant tree and took a short rest. The communication bracelet has been taken out of the warehouse and is filled with all kinds of messages. Among them, the most enthusiastic one was Bai Wuya's message. Chen Shu opened the message sent by Bai Wanya. Junior, the shower at my sister's house is broken again. That little girl Tian Na is very nice. We chatted for most of the night, all about you. Today is really depressing. My juniors and seniors were harassed by others. Outside the experienced dungeon, there was a middle-aged uncle who was rude to me. Senior, do you really want to leave Tunghai Professional University forever? Senior's level improvement is too slow. Today the school organized a copy activity, and I was lucky enough to win the crown. Please bless me. When Chen Shu tasted the information brought by Bai Waya, his mood changed accordingly. Sometimes he frowned, and sometimes he smiled. After he read all of Bai Wuya's messages in detail, he flipped through the remaining message. This is a message from Lan Yujiao. Chen Shu, I have reached level 35. After Chen Shu saw this message, he immediately replied to Lan Yujiao with a cheering expression. Chen Shu also sent an encouraging text message to Bai Wanya. Senior, I will go back to Tunghai Vocational University to visit you. You need to continue to work hard. Don't let Tian Wan's level gap between me and Tian Wan get too big. After Chen Shu sent the text message, he stored the communication bracelet in the warehouse. Wearing the communication bracelet on her hand, Chen Shu felt a little uncomfortable. Once the equipment is worn on your body, you only need to set it up to hide it, and you will no longer notice anything strange. If wearing the equipment feels awkward, Chen Shu might just take off all the equipment and store it in the warehouse. Senior, we are only level 40. Is it too much to challenge a level 50 monster? Will we encounter danger, or even be devoured by monsters? A soft female voice came from the front. Chen Shu was sitting on the treetop and turned around to see five figures emerging from the front. Three boys and two girls, wearing uniforms. The five of them cautiously approached the level 50 monster area. But then, they realized belatedly that there was not a single monster in the level 50 monster area. What is going on? Why have all the level 50 monsters disappeared? Senior, where are those monsters? Why can't I find level 50 monsters? Senior sister, I can't answer this question. Maybe someone has eliminated all level 50 monsters before we arrived. The tall and handsome senior glanced at the girl next to him, then looked around. He did not look up. If he had done so, he would have seen Chen Shu sitting in the tree. Assuming what the senior said is true and this team is really strong, can we complete the task of killing level 50 monsters? By the way, it takes 12 hours to refresh outside the barrier, so where should we go next? Senior, are we going to spend the night in the wild tonight? This is my first time setting foot outside the barrier. Is there any danger at night? The girl was talking humbly, and the mouths of everyone around her were slightly twitching. Xie Xiaoyan, we have reached level 40. We can no longer upgrade quickly within the barrier, so we must upgrade monsters outside the barrier. Another girl said, and after speaking, she lightly rubbed her temples. Her head was buzzing along the way. Xie Xiaoyan really talked too much. She asked this now, then that, and there were always endless questions to ask. Xie Xiaoyan, the school has arranged for high-level seniors to lead us newcomers, so you don't have to worry too much. A boy opened his mouth to comfort Xie Xiaoyan. Brushing monsters and upgrading outside the barrier was the only way for every professional who reached level 40. Chen Shu, who was sitting on the treetop, stared at the girl curiously. With a baby face, twin ponytails, and a height of about 1.6 meters, she looks like a giant lowly. Chen Shu has no feelings for this kind of girl. During his time on Earth, he had also experienced this kind of girl's ability to pester people. The so-called princess disease is a common occurrence among Lolita people. 
This kind of huge loli is even more troublesome. If Princess Disease and Mary's Disease were combined, it would be a very threatening nuclear bomb. Chen Shu sat on a tree branch and thought wildly, the five people on the lower right also remained in place. Senior, where are we going next? We're almost starving. Senior, we are so hungry that our chests are touching our backs. The giant Lolita Xie Xiaoyan spoke first, and the other three nodded in agreement. Okay. Let's eat something here and then fight towards the level 49 monster area. The five people sat together and started eating on the spot. Boom. Cough cough cough. Ahem. Oh my goodness. Chen Shu jumped down from the treetop, shocking the five people on the ground to sigh. Xie Xiaoyan punched her chest hard. He was startled by Chen Shu's movement and choked on the food he was swallowing. There was another boy who was also frightened and jumped up from the ground. I'm sorry. Everyone, I scared you. Chen Shu smiled at the five people. Ahem, why are you like this? You're choking me to death. Xie Xiaoyan glared at Chen Shu fiercely. I'm sorry, little beauty. Senior, don't go to areas 47, 48, and 49. I have killed all the monsters. Chen Shu came down and kindly reminded the senior to prevent them from making the trip in vain. At this moment, everyone in this team was stunned. Who is the person in front of them? The monsters in the other three areas have been cleared. Bragging, I don't believe you killed so many monsters by yourself. Xie Xiaoyan pouted, her face full of confusion. Ha 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 ha, you are really smart. Yes, I did not kill the monster. I just happened to see it while passing by. Chen Shu didn't want to waste any time and made up a random argument. Hello, I am Hu Wei, a senior student at Fengbei Vocational University. At this time, the senior student from Fengbei Vocational University came forward and introduced himself politely. Hello, senior, I am Zhao Wen, a freshman at Donghai Vocational University. Chen Shu also has the title of a wanted criminal, and telling his true identity might scare them. Xie Xiaoyan walked around Chen Shu, her face full of curiosity. You are from Donghai Vocational University, why did you come to Beifang Province? Are you really a freshman? Xie Xiaoyan was curious about how Chen Shu returned to Baifeng province, while Hu Wei, a senior, was concerned about whether Chen Shu was really a freshman. Senior, please check on the communication bracelet, Class 1, Combat Department, Tunghai University, Zhao Wen. No need, we are going to challenge level 46 monsters later. See you again if we are destined. Hu Wei didn't care whether what Chen Shu said was true or false, it had nothing to do with him. His previous question was just out of curiosity. A few minutes later, the five people left the level 50 area. Chen Shu was bored now, so he followed them. After an hour of trekking, the five people arrived at the level 45 monster area. Fortunately, no one is killing monsters here. In fact, for a team like Hu Wei's team, even if three teams come, they don't have to worry about grabbing monsters. The three teams will definitely not be able to clear out all the monsters within 12 hours. My fellow students, let's start the challenge. Xie Xiaoyan will bless us. Hu Wei began to direct the battle, and Xie Xiaoyan also used group attack bonuses for everyone. Two warriors charged bravely, a mage sniped from behind, and the senior drew his bow and shot arrows. Xie Xiaoyan, a giant lowly, stood at the back and kept cheering loudly, Senior is so awesome, Senior 666. Come on, come on. The combatants in the front fought with the monsters, while Xie Xiaoyan in the rear kept shouting. Chen Shu looked at Xie Xiaoyan with a look of shock on his face. The voice calling 666 was so smooth, it looked like Xie Xiaoyan was heading home. Mao Juling's 666 seems to be lacking in heat. Is it a blessing or an annoyance to have such an assistant in the team? Chen Shu sat down on the ground, as if he had become a passerby observer. He doesn't want to compete with them to kill monsters. The experience of level 45 monsters is not high, so he really can't arouse his interest. Time passed by minute by minute. An hour has passed in an instant. What's amazing is that Xie Xiaoyan never stopped shouting 666. Chen Shu, who was sitting behind her, felt a slight pain in her head. He was full of admiration for the four warriors in front of him. How could they endure Xie Rao's nagging? Why on earth can you tolerate Xie Xiaoyan's nagging? I'm afraid only they themselves can answer this. 
They had to accept that this was a task assigned by the school. Xie Xiaoyang was the precious granddaughter of the vice principal of their school. How could they refuse? If there really was a choice, who would be willing to bring this noisy girl here to grind monsters and upgrade? Xie Xiaoyang, use full firepower to add blood to the front. Don't stop. The two warriors have been forced into a desperate situation by monsters. Come and settle things. The sudden crisis plunged the two warriors into a siege by monsters. If the time goes on, I'm afraid my life will be at risk. Xie Xiaoyan was shocked and immediately began to release the healing technique with all her strength. Unfortunately, there are too many monsters, and neither warrior has agility bonus, so it is extremely difficult to escape unscathed. The health value is reduced at a speed visible to the naked eye, and the situation has entered a precarious situation. Xie Xiaoyan's healing technique is limited to the recovery of a single target. Chen Shu slowly stood up. If he continued to stand by and watch, it would be difficult for the two war kings to escape. The Yanling knife was taken out from the warehouse. Chen Shu waved the long knife in his hand and rushed towards the level 45 monster bravely. Minus 33,250. Astonishing damage values continuously floated out from the monster's head. The addition of Chen Shu instantly turned the situation to his advantage, and the pressure on the two fighters was suddenly relieved. Xie Xiaoyan's healing skills were also able to exert their maximum effect. Escape from the encirclement immediately. Chen Shu shouted loudly in front of the two of them. The two warriors who had narrowly escaped death quickly retreated. The sword is everywhere. With one move of the group attack skill, hundreds of level 45 monsters were instantly killed. A large area of field suddenly became vacant around Chen Shu. Holy shit, is this really a warrior? Is this really a freshman? The soldiers who fled to safety screamed. Hu Wei, a senior, also looked at Chen Shu dumbfounded. Such a terrifying group attack, there are such powerful students in Donghai province. Total annihilation. Chen Shu used the group skill again, and 30 more monsters fell down. Wow wow wow, the most powerful warrior in history, he will definitely become the most powerful warrior in history. Xie Xiaoyan was so excited that she jumped and screamed on the spot, shouting 666 repeatedly. After clearing out some level 45 monsters, Chen Shu chose to retreat to the open space behind. The venue for monster spawning and leveling is reserved for a team of five people. Zhao Wen, oh, dear junior brother Zhao, can you take me with you to slay monsters? Xie Xiaoyan walked next to Chen Shu, and Chen Shu was a little uncomfortable with her soft voice. Senior, I can't help you level up, you have your own team. Xie Xiaoyan looked at the four teammates who were struggling to kill monsters, bit her lips and said, Junior is right, I do have my own team, it is unethical to switch jobs midway. Indeed, a person should adhere to integrity. You already have your own teammates and you cannot abandon them. Yes, then I'll take care of them. Xie Xiaoyan did not continue to pester Chen Shu. She had to protect the safety of her teammates. If the support profession was lax, it would lead to disaster for the entire team. After Chen Shu rested on the spot for just 10 minutes, he immediately walked away. The level 53 monsters have not yet been spawned, and upgrading requires more and more experience. You must grind monsters relentlessly in order to upgrade. After an hour passed, Xie Xiaoyan and the others decided to take a break. Oh, classmate Zhao Wen is missing. Xie Xiaoyan glanced around in the blink of an eye, and Chen Shu's figure had long since disappeared. Others were also looking everywhere, even on the branches of big trees, but they found no results. Senior, why is that Zhao Wen so powerful? When I saw the damage he dealt, I even began to doubt my life. When Hu Wei heard the questions from his teammates, he honestly shook his head and said that he didn't know. He was also extremely confused, why was Chen Shu's attack power so amazing? I guess he must be a child of some aristocratic family, and he is covered in gold quality equipment. Xie Xiaoyan made bold remarks. But after finishing speaking, she felt that this idea seemed a bit too bizarre. After all, she herself was wearing several pieces of level 40 gold equipment, but her strength was far inferior to Chen Shu. Even if the whole body is covered with gold equipment, it can only slightly increase the health value and defense ability. Senior, I think we should go to the level 43 monster area. 
Recruiting level 45 monsters is too slow and extremely dangerous. Another girl didn't care about Chen Shu's terrifying output. She was more concerned about her level experience. The risk of spawning monsters at level 45 is already huge, plus the speed of 5 people spawning monsters is not ideal. 0. It is better to go to the lower level monster area, which will not only improve everyone's monster spawning efficiency, but also improve safety. I agree with Zhuang Yan. If we are attacked by monsters here, it will be really difficult to escape. A boy agreed to go to the level 43 monster area. Although the experience of a single monster will be less, the lost experience can be made up for by speeding up the pace of monster spawning. Senior, luckily we didn't choose to challenge the level 50 monster, otherwise it would have been too dangerous. Maybe all of us would be killed by the monster. Xie Xiaoyan suddenly said something that shocked everyone. Not only was Hu Wei shocked, but beads of sweat began to appear on the foreheads of the two soldiers. When the five of them bid farewell to the level 45 monster area, Chen Shu was already cleaning up the level 53 monsters. Time flies. In the blink of an eye, a month has passed. There are a lot of professionals in this area. The youthful faces are full of longing and firm eyes. They all came from Baifeng Professional University, and with the determination to become strong, they came to the outside of Bai Ji without hesitation. Level 55 Monster Area Chen Shu sat comfortably on a huge rock and carefully checked his experience bar. Level 45, 73%. It won't take long for him to reach level 46, getting closer and closer to his goal of level 50. Chen Shu took out the communication bracelet from the warehouse and checked the communication messages on it. Basically, it's by Wanya's information, but actually there isn't much information. Chen Shu read it one by one. Then he carefully edited a message and sent it to Bai Wuya. This time, Bai Wuya didn't reply immediately. She might be busy at this time. Lan Yujiao has not sent any messages to Chen Shu recently. The beauty of Lanzhou University was also obsessed with becoming stronger and had no time to send messages to Chen Shu. The only one left was from Yan Bing. When Chen Shu opened this message, his whole body couldn't help but tremble. Endless rage erupted inside him like a volcano. His eyes were full of anger and murderous intent. Chen Shu, President Chin of Haiyu City asked me to tell you, never return to major cities again, the He family is controlling you. Now that free copies in Haiyu City are about to start charging, the burden on the school will increase dramatically. The Ministry of Education has been unable to approve the funding for Donghai Vocational University. Chen Shu, teacher is a little tired, I hope you have a smooth life outside, be careful. Chen Shu read the message twice attentively. The free copy of Haiyu City was targeted. Who targeted the free copy of Haiyu City? Are they from other cities? Or someone who is hostile to Haiyu City? The funding for Tunghai Vocational University has not been approved for a long time, and there must be a shady conspiracy hidden in it. It was obviously because of him that Tunghai Vocational University was implicated. Also, the He family is guarding him in various cities. He originally had nothing to do with the He family. All of this stems from He's on. In addition, the old man from the Ah family is also good at spying. Chen Shu stood up from the boulder, thinking whether he should first reach level 50 and then settle the score with He's on, or should he act immediately. After a few minutes of contemplation, Chen Shu decided not to wait for level 50 before taking action. First, go back to Haiyu, 540 city to find out if it was because of him that the primary experience copy was involved. Do you choose to go to Haiyu City through the teleportation array? Or hike through the wilderness and finally return to Haiyu City? In the end, Chen Shu rationally chose to hike through the wilderness. This will prevent the He family from discovering his whereabouts and create convenience for his movements. It is obviously difficult to achieve by relying only on the legs. A cyclone wolf was chosen as a means of transportation. This way, he can greatly increase his movement speed while maintaining sufficient endurance. Make sure he stays strong for long walks in the wild. After Chen Shu changed the necklace, he rushed directly to the cyclone wolf area. Along the way, Chen Shu saw many professional teams spawning monsters in areas from level 45 to level 41. Each team occupied a small area, respecting each other and not interfering with each other. Because their speed of spawning monsters is not fast, 
new monsters start to spawn before all the monsters in the area they are responsible for are killed. However, no professional team was seen in the Cyclone Wolf area. After all, no one would want to deal with the extremely agile Cyclone Wolf. After Chen Shu easily captured a Whirlwind Wolf, he sat on the wolf's back and galloped towards Haiyu City. When he passed through the monster spawning areas, the support standing behind the team was dumbfounded. Wow, a mount actually appeared and it was a running whirlwind wolf. Is he a summoner? Hurry up, give me more blood, assistant, why are you so confused? The auxiliary personnel were slightly distracted, and the blood replenishing process was interrupted. The soldiers in front began to shout for help. Scenes like this are not uncommon along the way, and everyone was shocked by Chen Shu's Cyclone Wolf. The control time of the Cyclone Wolf is as long as 10 hours, and the skill cooling time is as long as 12 hours. There was a time difference of 2 hours, and when it was almost time, Tornado Wolf was tied up by Chen Shu. He himself can also get a moment of rest, and the Whirlwind Wolf can't escape. In this way, Chen Shu and his Cyclone Wolf quietly arrived in the wilds of Haiyu City a few days later. Before entering Haiyu City, Chen Shu threw the Cyclone Wolf in the level 40 monster area and turned around to leave. In Haiyu City, Chen Shu is not really familiar with many people. If you want to find clues, you have to find Chen Ming Feng, the president of the Professionals Association. Chen Shu changed his clothes a little and went directly to the Professionals Association. Back in Haiyu, Ajia's minions were not as numerous as Long Du Yin. When Chen Shu walked into the door of Haiyu City Professionals Association, no one recognized him. In the president's office, Qin Ming Feng was lying lazily on the table. After the free dungeon was targeted, the business of hotels and restaurants dropped sharply, and many professionals chose to return to local primary dungeons. At the same time, Haiyu City's other income has also declined. Boom, boom, boom. Please come in. Chen Shu knocked on the door of the office, and Qin Ming Feng's lazy voice came from inside. Chen Shu, who was standing at the door, was slightly startled. Qin Ming Feng's listless look made him feel very confused. Gently pushing open the office door, Qin Ming Feng almost slipped from his chair when Chen Shu slowly took off the hat on his head. Chen, Chen Shu, you brat, why are you here? Don't you know that you are a fugitive wanted by the entire Dragon Kingdom? Didn't I ask Teacher Yan to send you a message, telling you not to go back to various cities? Qin Ming Feng glanced outside the door, immediately stood up and closed the office door tightly. President Qin, what are you panicking about? I'm not nervous at all. You little one, you are wanted by the entire Dragon Kingdom. How dare you return to Haiyu? Don't you know there are informants everywhere outside? President Qin, of course I know there are spies outside, but so what? They are always hiding, I'm a little tired of them. Chen Shu sat down on the sofa nearby with a smile on his face. Tell me, what do you want from me? If you are short of money, just tell me. After Chen Ming Feng sat back in his original seat, he stared at Chen Shu with a serious face. President Chen, I am not short of money now. I have already obtained level 90 equipment. But what I lack now is precisely level. Indeed. It's a pity that you can't wear level 90 equipment. Wait, how did you get level 90 equipment? Qin Ming Feng suddenly jumped up from his chair. In addition to killing level 90 abyss monsters or participating in professional tower challenges, there are many other ways to obtain level 90 equipment, but those ways are extremely dangerous. Chen Shu's current level is only level 45. If he can't go to those places, it is impossible to challenge the professional tower. He is now a fugitive wanted by the entire Dragon Kingdom, and wanting to enter Dragon City is simply a wishful thinking. President Chin, level 90 equipment is obtained by killing level 90 abyss monsters. It was okay if Chen Shu didn't say anything. After he did, Qin Ming Feng sat down on the ground. This news is too shocking. The strength of level 90 abyss monsters is far beyond the level of monsters outside the level 90 barrier. When did you? kid, start to come into contact with the monsters of the abyss. Aren't you afraid that your life will be in danger? About a month ago, Bashan City encountered a wave of super beasts. I was lucky enough to kill a monster in the abyss during the chaos, and I was able to get a treasure chest. When I opened it, it turned out to be a level 90 necklace. I see, we later learned about the super beast wave in Bashan City. 
It is said that the battle was very tragic. It's not bad. The professionals in Bayshan City seem to have suffered no losses, and the monsters haven't even scaled the city wall. Qin Mingfeng stood up from the floor, arranged his clothes, and sat back down. Boy, since you don't need anything, why do you want to return to Haiyu City? Qin Mingfeng asked, and Chen Shu thought for a few seconds with a heavy face. President Qin, I heard outside that someone was targeting free copies. Which city is it, or which force is behind it? I came back to Haiyu City for this matter. After Chen Shu finished speaking, Qin Mingfang couldn't help but frown and looked at Chen Shu meaningfully. The young man in front of him is sincere and kind. He understands the current difficulties faced by Haiyu City and would rather risk being wanted to return to his hometown to protect this land. As the president of the Professionals Association, he seemed to be somewhat powerless at this critical moment and was unable to help Chen Shu. Chen Shu, this matter involves a wide scope, and the leader is the He family of Longdu. They united many cities, made a strong appeal, and even sent high-level professionals to rush to the free dungeon to expel low-level professionals. To be honest, I feel so frustrated. I wanted to do my part for the low-level professionals and wanted Haiyu City to rise, but it violated their interests. They actually started to suppress Haiyu City in all aspects. Chen Shu reached out and stroked his cheek, the murderous intent in his eyes getting stronger. President Chen, in other words, the He family is the culprit in targeting Haiyu City. Chen Mingfang nodded solemnly. If there was no pressure from He family, other cities would not be able to unite to suppress Haiyu City. Okay, very good. All old and new grudges will be settled this time. Chen Shu, don't be impulsive. The He family is not as simple as it seems on the surface. There are people from the He family in the military system. They are just beasts. President Chin, don't worry, I don't want to overthrow the entire He family. It's hard to do it with my current strength, but I can try to assassinate their He family. Right now, President Chin still needs to provide some information about the He family members. I wonder if I can help. Chin Mingfang began to think deeply, while Chen Shu sat on the sofa and waited quietly. Chen Shu, do you know the consequences of doing this? Once you do this, your reward amount will undoubtedly soar, and countless professionals will be eyeing you. Chen Shu nodded firmly, he was fearless and must do this. At this moment, Chen Mingfang picked up a pen and wrote several names on a piece of paper. Chen Shu, these are the He family members who participated in targeting Haiyu City. You can check their appearance through the communication bracelet. Chen Shu took the paper, glanced at the list on it, and nodded wolfishly. Chen Shu quickly put the list into the warehouse. President Chen, thank you so much for your support, I will make the He family pay the price. Chen Shu, you must be careful yourself. The strength of the He family is far beyond what it seems. Thank you, President Chen. Chen Shu bowed deeply to Chen Mingfang, turned around and left Chen Mingfang's office. Chen Mingfang stared at Chen Shu's leaving figure and sighed deeply. A child without power is like a lonely boat in front of many families and may capsize at any time. He hopes that Chen Shu can go further and never die midway. Outside the professionals' association, Chen Shu took a deep breath of fresh air. Preparing to go to Longdu, Chen Shu decided to travel through the wild and brought a sudden blow to the He family. Inside the professional association, standing in Chen Mingfang's office are two of his most trusted subordinates. These two people are candidates that Chen Mingfang can absolutely trust. You guys rush back to Longdu immediately and tell the old man that Chen Shu is about to attack the He family. We, the Chen family, don't get involved, remember. The two exchanged determined glances. They all know what level Chen Shu is. From the moment Chen Shu stepped into Chen Mingfang's office to the time he quietly left, the two knew everything clearly. Second young master, this Chen Shu is very courageous. In any case, our Chen family cannot get involved. It is best to wait and see what happens. What's more, Chen Shu also took this action for Haiyu. Second young master, we understand, don't worry. After the two of them bowed deeply to Chen Mingfang, they turned and left his office. A remote area of Haiyu City. Chen Jushu did not set off immediately, he stayed where he was and thought seriously. This time he no longer chose to ride a monster, but relied on his own feet to move forward. Without using the teleportation array, it would take an average professional about three or four days to get from Haiyu to Longdu. 
Chen Shu is so fast that he is expected to complete the journey in just two days. At the last moment before departure, Chen Shu put the communication bracelet on his wrist. There are three people on the list, namely He Zhengfang, He Xingyang, and Li Moyin. Two are collateral relatives of the He family, and the other is a guard of the He family. Finding the three of them in the vast sea of people was like looking for a needle in a haystack. The only thing Chen Shu can do is to wait and look for opportunities while waiting. Let's go. The He family in Longdu, I, Chen Shu, are here. Are you ready? Chen Shu faced the direction of Longdu and shouted excitedly. Over there in Longdu, the two people entrusted by Qin Mingfeng have returned to the Qin family. The silence in the Qin family's study was suffocating. When the old man of the Qin family heard all this, he was dumbfounded. Chen Shu's attempt to face the He family single-handedly was an extremely dangerous move. The old man of the Qin family did not think that Chen Shu had the ability to deal with the He family by himself. Do you have anything else to report? Mr. Chen looked at the two reporting personnel. The two thought for a moment, then shook their heads resolutely. In this case, you can go back and tell the second child that my Qin family will never be involved in this matter. As you command, the two of them respectfully exited the study and hurried back to Haiyu City. Two days later, Chen Shu finally set foot in the wilds of Longdu. After a long journey, Chen Shu was ready to rest for a while and then find a way to sneak into Longdu. The courtyard of the He family in Longdu. A guard from the He family rushed into the old man's study anxiously. To be so panicked is totally unworthy of the honor of my He family. We won't do it again. When the old man saw the guard rushing into the study anxiously, he scolded him coldly. The situation is urgent, I hope you will forgive me. What happened? The old man frowned slightly and stared at the guard with some displeasure. Sir, according to reports from spies in the field, they accidentally encountered Chen Shu. He seems to be resting in the field now. After the guard finished reporting, an intriguing smile appeared on the corner of the old man's mouth. This ungrateful little thief will make you lose your mind in the wilds of Longdu today. Order the legal guards to fight with shields, and do your best to encircle and suppress Chen Shu. We must not let him have the slightest chance to escape. In addition, send out thieves in case the kid tries to escape the scene. I will obey your orders. The guard left respectfully and began to act according to the old man's instructions. A hunting operation against Chen Shu is about to begin. The He family not only used their own guards, but also notified the Longdu Professionals Association. The president of Longdu Professionals Association paced back and forth anxiously in the office. To send someone or not to send someone. Although Chen Shu's level is low, his damage is not low. It's not certain who will win in a fight. He didn't want his men to suffer any losses. But if you don't send someone, you will offend the He family, and you will inevitably suffer retaliation in the future. While he was hesitating, one of his subordinates hurried to the door of the president's office. Dong dong dong, there were nervous knocks on the door day after day. Come in, the door of the office opened with a sound, and an employee of the professional association reported breathlessly, President, we found a copy in the north of Longdu. It was submitted by a student newspaper of Longdu Professional University. How do you deal with it? If you feel sleepy, give him a pillow. This message just gives him an excuse. What kind of copy is this? The intermediate experience copy is expected to stay in our Dragon City for a month. Okay, great, organize a team immediately and come with me to inspect the dungeon and maintain order at the scene. Yes, the employees of the professional association left in a hurry and began to gather manpower. And at this time, Chen Shu was sitting alone in an open space. He had already figured out how to sneak into Longdu. As soon as he got up from the ground, five fireballs came straight towards him. Chen Shu tried his best to avoid but was hit by two fireballs. Minus 8320. Minus 8970. The sudden attack caught him off guard. He didn't expect that he would arrive in Longdu quietly and be discovered so quickly. Just as he was about to counterattack, two shield warriors holding large shields had already stepped forward. Ridicule. The shield warrior launched his taunting skill, and Chen Shu tried to change the target but was tightly entangled. The seven people did not communicate verbally throughout the whole process, but their cooperation was smooth and smooth. They did not need to say much, they just focused on killing Chen Shu. 
Faced with such a situation, Chen Shu naturally would not sit still and wait for death. He came here to deal with the He family. If he died without even making any movement, he might not be able to explain himself. Without hesitation, he brandished his sword and attacked the shield warrior. Minus 30,500. Plus 3050. The shield warrior was deprived of 30,000 health points by Chen Shu, but with the help of blood-sucking skills, he successfully recovered 3,050 health points. With just one swing of the knife, the mage's spell followed closely. There was a rumble of volleys, all hitting, and Chen Shu's health dropped to five panny points. In the current situation, the enemy in front of Chen Shu is well prepared and wants to kill him. Since it is a life and death fight, Chen Shu decisively released his group skills. The sword is everywhere, a sword aura formed around him, and the shield warrior and the mage were stunned for five seconds. Although it was only a short five seconds, for Chen Shu, it was enough to completely eliminate the enemy mage from the battlefield. As long as the mage no longer exists on the battlefield, the remaining two shield warriors will undoubtedly become lambs to be slaughtered. At this moment, the health of the five mages has fallen to the bottom. Just remember the powerful group attack skills, and they can all die here. Faced with such a situation, Chen Shu raised the Yan Ling Dao in his right hand again without hesitation. Total Annihilation Another powerful group attack skill. The powerful sword light attacked the mages like wild beasts, and in an instant, the originally blood-red blood tank turned into nothingness. However, three of the five of them actually wore blood-locking badges. Miraculously, he retained the last drop of health from Chen Shu's attack and was able to survive. I don't believe I can't kill you. Seeing the scene in front of him, Chen Shu's anger suddenly rose, and his body moved forward quickly like an arrow from the string. The Yan Fei Dao in his hand is like a spiritual snake spitting out messages, and every time it is swung, it will take away the life of a mage. Thump, thump, thump. Three consecutive dull sounds of landing resounded throughout the battlefield. Looking around, the few mages who were still breathing had all fallen to the ground dead. At this time, the five seconds of dizziness have passed. The two remaining shield warriors were already stunned beyond words. If they want to attack but not attack, the only advantage is that they have higher defense and thicker blood. But in front of Chen Shu, these so-called advantages seemed insignificant. In order to save their lives, the two shield warriors actually chose to escape separately. Trying to save one person's life in this way. However, their thoughts were too naive. After all, how could Min Zan's speed allow them to escape easily? With just a few blows, a shield warrior collapsed to the ground. The other shield fighter was hit by a collision from Chen Shu before he could run very far, and then, no more. Question mark. This shield warrior also lay on the ground. After taking care of all the enemies, Chen Shu decided to leave this dangerous area immediately. Although the health value is now full, I am worried that a more powerful mage will appear. Chen Shu quickly left the current location without hesitation, hoping to find a safe place. It's a pity that due to bad luck, he still couldn't escape another ambush. Boy, today is the day you die. Chen Shu suddenly found that there were two terrifying shield fights in front of him. I saw these two people wearing golden armor. The golden light shines brightly, which must be the unique effect displayed by high-quality equipment. Their level is not low. They are all over level 90. The He family was very cruel this time. Usually, Powerful professionals above level 90 are charging into battle and fighting bloody battles at the front line. They rarely retreat to the rear from the crisis-ridden battlefield. Now the He family did not hesitate to call in level 90 masters to kill Chen Shu. This reflects a shocking reality. That is, the He family has strong hostility towards Chen Shu and wants to kill him immediately. Despite the tense situation, Chen Shu did not panic. At this time, Chen Shu became more and more calm. Take advantage of the shield battle before you can release the taunting skills. He is like a vigorous cheetah, jumping and dodging in an instant. Seeing the three level 90 mages behind them, they were ready to make a move. Especially the mage holding the white light staff is terrifying. The power of platinum level weapons, if Chen Shu were to take a slight hit, the estimated health loss would start at 10,000. Mom sells batches, the he family, I will fight you until death. Chen Shu looked angry and quickly galloped away to the other side. 
Although the shield warrior and the mage tried their best to catch up, Chen Shu's speed instantly increased was astonishing. Just when shield war was about to unleash its taunt, Chen Shu had already disappeared like a speeding rabbit. After galloping for a while, there was a loud bang. A mage's spell attack still fell on Chen Shu. Minus 15,320. On the way, Chen Shu was once again attacked by three mages. Fortunately, he was agile and only received one blow. Chen Shu was horrified, the mage's damage was really shocking. Such damage only requires three mages to focus fire three times, which is enough to send him away. At this time, he did not hesitate to choose to escape from this dangerous place as quickly as possible. When the two thieves from the He family saw the fleeing Chen Shu, they wanted to attack immediately, but faced with the complex and changing situation, they were hesitant. They know very well that no matter whether they can kill Chen Shu in one blow or completely defeat Chen Shu, doing so is undoubtedly a gamble and the risk is extremely high. For them, there was no blood-locking badge on their bodies. In this dangerous situation, they had no choice but to let Chen Shu go. About ten minutes later, Chen Shu had successfully escaped the ambush of the mage and the shield. There were only two thieves following closely behind. The intention was to find out in which direction Chen Shu would escape. They will convey the collected information about Chen Shu's whereabouts to Shield War and Mage as soon as possible. Perhaps this was a trick of fate. Chen Shu was so lucky that he was discharged from the hospital. In the process of escaping, he accidentally came to the place where the intermediate experience copy came. There is a sea of people here, and a large number of professionals are surrounding the steel at the entrance, seeming to be looking forward to something. Chen Shu suddenly disappeared into the vast sea of people. Intermediate experience copy, professionals of levels 41 to 70 are welcome to participate. The difficulty of the dungeon is divided into five levels, easy, medium, hard, hell, and nightmare. Simple, the monster level is equal to the average level of the team. Medium. The monster level is equal to the average level of the team plus three levels. Difficulty. The monster level is equal to the team's average level plus five levels. Hell. The monster level is equal to the team's average level plus seven levels. Nightmare. The monster level is equal to the team's average level plus nine levels. Each professional can enter once a day, and each time is limited to eight hours. Friendly reminder. Death in the instance is equivalent to real death. Chen Shu carefully studied the description of the intermediate experience copy and felt that his life was not destined to end and he was so lucky. Without any hesitation, Chen Shu resolutely chose the Nightmare Difficulty Dungeon. The moment you stepped into the dungeon, countless monsters appeared in front of you. The Zombie of the Abyss. Level. 54. Constitution. 1400. Strength. 3500. Agility. 230. Skills. Corpse Poison, Copper Skin and Iron Bones, Life Saving Blow. The battle begins. Chen Shu held the sharp Yan Fei Dao and launched a fierce attack on the evil zombie in the abyss. The knife fell, and the zombie fell down. Chen Shu was a little confused after killing a zombie with one knife, but no blood was drawn from it. Doesn't the above mean that undead monsters are ineffective? Does it mean that the zombies of the abyss belong to the undead type? Question mark. Chen Shu doesn't understand, and doesn't want to understand. Now, he must go all out to upgrade monsters. Outside the dungeon, two thieves quickly informed Shield War and the mages of the news that Chen Shu had entered the dungeon. Half an hour later, two Shield Warriors and six mages hurriedly arrived at the door of the intermediate experience copy. What should we do? Just wait here, where can we find him in the sea of people? One mage looked tentatively at Shield War for advice. There are so many people here, it's really difficult to find someone, why not report it to the family? That's right, it's better to report it to the family and listen to what the old man wants. The thieves also agreed with the shield battle proposal. After all, they couldn't make the decision, so they could only leave this difficult problem to those who can make the decision. A few minutes later, a brief message was sent to Shield Wars communication bracelet. Return to the family immediately and wait for the family's follow-up instructions. The information is concise and clear. It seems that it is impossible to take action around the dungeon. We can only go back to the family first and then find a countermeasure. Chen Shu finally dodged a disaster. Now he only has one thing to do, 
devote himself wholeheartedly to the path of spawning monsters and upgrading. Inside the dungeon, the Yan Ling Dao in Chen Shu's hand was waving like the wind, and monsters fell under his knife one after another. At the end of the eight-hour dungeon, Chen Shu's level has reached level 45, 97%. After leaving the dungeon, Chen Shu immediately blended into the crowd and took the opportunity to sneak into the dangerous wilderness, intending to continue challenging the dungeon after midnight. Among the barren mountains and ridges, Chen Shu chose a comfortable place to rest. He family in Longdu. The old man stood in the study with his hands behind his back. Several professionals behind him stood in awe. Master, all seven of you Y and the others were beheaded by Chen Shu today, and their bodies have been returned to the family. The old man nodded slightly, but did not show any anger. Instead, his face showed a strange calmness. Chen Shu, you are such a bold thief. You dare to kill seven level 80 professionals from my He family in succession. The debt you owe is getting heavier and heavier. Sir, our dragon has an intermediate experience copy. Chen Shu will definitely be reluctant to leave. Should we summon more people to besiege him? Inform He Chen and return to Longdu immediately. We must completely eradicate this cancer of Chen Shu. Several professionals nodded repeatedly, bid farewell to the old man respectfully, and exited the study. In the barren mountains and ridges, Chen Shu slept very sweetly. When he woke up, he found that it was already past three in the morning. I had a very comfortable sleep this time, but I wonder if the dungeon is still crowded now. Chen Shu stretched his muscles and then quickly rushed from the resting point to the location of the intermediate copy. When he arrived there, the place was crowded and still overcrowded. After waiting for half an hour, Chen Shu was finally able to enter the dream difficulty dungeon. It was not until noon that Chen Shu finally walked out of the dungeon gate. At this moment, Chen Shu's experience value has reached level 46, 17%. The day's dungeon mission ended, and Chen Shu left immediately without any attachment. At midnight, it's a new challenge. Chen Shu, once again stepped firmly into the intermediate experience dungeon of nightmare difficulty. He waved the Yan Fei Dao like a robot. When the dungeon was about to end, the space in the dungeon suddenly trembled. Backquote no way, I just want to get some experience. Is there another abyss monster about to show up? However, at this moment, there are no traces of monsters in the nightmare difficulty dungeon. The corpses of those monsters just disappeared without a trace. Who is it that kills my people? A mysterious black shadow gradually condensed into shape, and finally turned into the monster Chen Shu was familiar with. It turns out to be the ghost general of the abyss. I thought it was some kind of deliberately full monster. You, who are you? The abyss ghost stared coldly at Chen Shu and scratched its helmet harshly. He couldn't remember Chen Shu for a moment. Suddenly, the abyss ghost trembled and shouted loudly, Ah, what a fool, you are such a hateful guy again, Chen Shu, I will definitely skin you. Chen Shu ignored the furious abyss ghost general. I explored the attributes of the abyss ghost general. Ghost general of the abyss. Level. 70. Constitution. 15,000. Strength. 25,000. Agility. 1,500. Spirit. 1,900. Skills. Shocking blow. Sweep. Indestructible. Dark invisibility. Dark assault. Dark giant transformation. Mom sells the batch. He is actually a level 70 abyss ghost general for money. I really don't know what good things will drop. The abyss ghost general just wants to kill Chen Shu at this moment. And Chen Shu also wanted to kill the abyss ghost general. Since you were defeated by me last time, let's have a more intense fight this time. Chen Shu stretched out his index finger and ticked the Abyss Ghost General provocatively. The Abyss Ghost General stared with copper bell-like eyes, and was actually provoked by a human being. How could he endure it? Since you can't stand it, you have no choice but to take action. The Abyss Ghost General held a big sword and slashed at Chen Shu fiercely. Come on, if I hide now, you have to call me uncle. This is unreasonable humans, go to hell. Minus 18,650. Minus 186,500 regulation zero. Two numbers popped out of their heads almost at the same time. Five-digit damage reduction appeared on Chen Shu's head, while seven-digit damage appeared on the Abyss Ghost General's head. Plop, the Abyss Ghost fell to the ground. A piece of equipment and a golden treasure chest appeared next to the corpse of the Abyss Ghost General. 
After a few seconds, the corpse of the Abyss Ghost General disappeared without a trace. Bah, another clone. Chen Shu stepped forward, put away the equipment, and put the golden treasure box into the warehouse. I'll open the box after I leave. I'm really looking forward to seeing if something good will appear. Five minutes later, Chen Shu suddenly disappeared and was teleported outside the copy. There was a lively crowd around, but no one noticed a level 46 rookie. Chen Shu turned around and left without hesitation, without any nostalgia. At the bottom of the abyss, in a palace filled with black air, the evil atmosphere shrouded the surroundings like black smoke. The entire palace was shrouded in an unbearable fear. Every inch of space radiates extreme danger. Suddenly, a black shadow quickly shuttled through the darkness. This mysterious black shadow silently entered a room filled with black energy. When he sat elegantly on the chair in the room, he saw clearly that he turned out to be the Abyss Ghost General. The Abyss Ghost will sit on the chair, his heart full of anger and unwillingness. He used his clone to descend and was killed by Chen Shu again. He couldn't swallow this breath no matter what. Come here, please help me check if there are any human countries near our abyss. The Abyss Ghost General called loudly, and his ghouls immediately appeared at the feet of the Abyss Ghost General. Dear Lord Ghost General, near our abyss is the Kingdom of Elephant. I wonder what the Lord Ghost General's orders are. Go and launch a large-scale beast tide. This general suddenly desires to taste human flesh. Lord Ghost General, please allow me to suggest whether it is necessary to report to Lord Ghost King first. Go ahead, I will report it to Lord Ghost King. Just follow my suggestion. I believe Lord Ghost King will definitely agree. The Abyss Ghost General waved his hand, and the ghoul retreated respectfully. After the ghoul left, the Abyss Ghost General took off his heavy armor and put on a black gown. He is tall and elegant. After being carefully dressed, his body exudes a faint fragrance. With elegant steps, the Abyss Ghost will slowly walk towards the Ghost King's bedroom. In a deserted place, Chen Shu sat steadily on the ground. He couldn't wait to check the properties of the equipment he had just obtained. Black Flame Armor. Quality. Silver. Attributes. Plus 475 Constitution. Level. LV.70. Ordinary Silver Quality Armor. However, Chen Shu was unable to wear the armor at the moment, and he had no strong interest in it. What attracted him more was the Golden Treasure Box. Golden Treasure Chests will bring surprises to people. At least they will yield gold quality items. Maybe if you are very lucky, you can get platinum level equipment. So, Chen Shu rubbed his hands and hoped that his luck would burst. The moment the golden treasure chest was gently opened, a dazzling golden light shot into the sky. When the light gradually dissipated, a set of wrist guards appeared in front of Chen Shu. Black Flame Gauntlets. Quality. Gold. Attributes. Plus 455 Constitution. Level. LV.70. Bah, Abyss Ghost General, you poor guy, you just gave me these two pieces of rubbish without any additional skills. After Chen Shu cursed a few words, he put the two pieces of equipment into the warehouse. A sneeze, a sneeze. In the Abyss Palace, the Abyss Ghost General could not help sneezing twice in a row. Who is missing me? Is it the Ghost King who is missing me? A very proud smile appeared on the face of the Abyss Ghost General, and he strode forward. In the next few days, Chen Shu did not encounter the arrival of the Abyss Ghost General and successfully completed the day's copy. After arriving in the wilderness, the communication bracelet in his hand suddenly sent a message. Chen Shu hadn't yet clicked on it to check it. He didn't take the time to open the message on the communication bracelet until he arrived at the place where he temporarily stayed. Chen Shu Dragon Master has already appeared as an intermediate copy of Meridian. Chen Shu smiled when he saw the news from Lan Yujiao. This girl really cared about him and he should pay attention to good things for her in the future. After thinking for a moment, Chen Shu sent a message. Lan Yujiao, I am currently in Longdu. I challenge the intermediate experience dungeon once every day. I am currently close to level 47. After the message was sent, Within just a few seconds, San Yu Zhao's reply came as expected. Open the message. Chen Shu, you are almost level 47. It seems that I can't participate in this dungeon. Don't be discouraged. There are still many opportunities in the future. There should be a lot of news revealed at Longdu Professional University. 
After you reach level 40, there may be more opportunities waiting for you. Chen Shu quickly replied with a message. Over there, Lan Yu Zhao also replied with an emoticon of, keep working hard. Suddenly, there was a sound of hurried steps not far away. It sounded like there were about seven or eight people. Chen Shu immediately hid, making sure not to be discovered. If the He family knew about it, they might have to flee again. Fortunately, it was just a false alarm, and the footsteps were just passers-by. As time goes by, Chen Shu's daily life becomes monotonous. Apart from brushing dungeons, he carefully hides. Day to day, there are still five full days before the intermediate experience copy will disappear. At this time, Chen Shu looked at his panel with a strange smile on his face. Name, Chen Shu. Occupation, Warrior. Level, Level 50, 0.07%. Physique, 10,385. Strength, 4,275 plus 42,750. Agility, 1695 plus 1695 asterisk 25%. Spirit, 2,350. Free attribute points, 0. Skills, charge, heavy slash, sweep thousands of armies and explosive flame slash. Charge, charge towards an enemy. The object being struck will be stunned for 1 second, and its movement speed will be reduced by 35% for 6 seconds. The cooldown time is 60 seconds. Heavy Slash Slams a single target, increasing self-damage by 35%, with a cooldown of 30 seconds. Sweep A1000 AJCB Army Explode shocking group damage, which can hit up to 30 targets. Each target will bear 120% of its own damage, and the cooling time is 180 seconds. Explosive Slash Damages all enemies in a straight line, linear attack, maximum straight line distance is 500 meters, each target will bear 90% of its own damage, cooling time is 120 seconds. Additional Skills Swiftness The wearer will receive a 25% agility bonus. Additional Skills Blood sucking, when performing physical or magical attacks, it can absorb 10% of the opponent's lost blood, and ignores the opponent's abnormal status, and is invalid when attacking undead monsters. Additional skills. Invisibility, activate the skill to enter the invisible state, which lasts for 20 seconds and has a cooling time of 12 hours. Additional skills. Sword Chi Zonggang, group attack skill, can attack 100 targets on the ground or in the air, each target will bear 110% of its own damage, the enemy hit will be stunned for 5 seconds, and the cooling time is 30 minutes. Additional Skill God's Blessing, 100% Resurrection when killed in battle, 50% of health restored after resurrection. Note, this skill will disappear from the 7 Phoenix Mysterious Ring after resurrection. Name, Chen Shu, Occupation, Warrior, Level, Level 50, 0.07%. 10-fold increase in attribute points. Each time you advance to a level, the fixed attribute points and free attribute points obtained increase tenfold. 100 times physical damage. Any type of physical damage can be dealt back at 100 times the physical damage, ignoring unreasonable defenses, shields, and immunity. 10 times attack power bonus. Original basic attack value plus original basic attack value asterisk 10. The greater the basic attack value, the more attack value is added. 100 times of spell damage. Any type of spell damage, including curse damage, can be dealt back at 100 times the spell damage, ignoring spell defense, shields, and immunity. Chen Shu turned off his panel and glanced in the direction of Longdu. In five days, this intermediate experience copy will disappear, and then it will be time to settle accounts with the He family. Chen Shu walked resolutely towards the entrance of the dungeon. The moment he stepped into the dungeon, Chen Shu's blood boiled and he immediately wanted to try a new skill, Explosive Flame Slash. Explosive Flame Slash. Chen Shu shouted loudly, and a sharp sword light swept through the dense monsters like a rainbow. Minus 36,240. Minus 36,970. Congratulations on reaching level 9 and killing 59 Abyss Zombies, experience plus 1,121. Congratulations on beating level 9 and killing 59 Abyss Zombies, experience plus 1,121. A series of explosive damage numbers spurted out from the monster's head. Chen Shu's experience points soared like a rocket. Wow, this skill is crazy, 
but it's a pity that it can only attack monsters on the ground. Chen Shu looked at the clean straight line with surprise and sighed sincerely. This dungeon experience made him feel very happy. As soon as the cooldown time of the group attack skills was up, he gave the monsters a blast. When he finally got out of the dungeon after playing for 8 hours, Chen Shu was still immersed in excitement. Brother, you are already level 50. I have been paying attention to you during this period. I come here to clear the dungeon every day. It is really hard. Chen Shu was immersed in joy when a combat professional came to talk to him. This man is of strong build, about 30 years old, with a determined smile on his face. After Chen Shu thought for a moment, he said frankly, this kind of intermediate experience copy does not often exist, maybe next time it will appear in the world outside the barrier. Yes, the living space of human beings is limited. There is a wider land outside, and there must be more unknown things. The man smiled and pulled Chen Shu to the side. Are you Chen Shu? You'd better leave this place as soon as possible. People from the He family are guarding the perimeter. Chen Shu was a little surprised that this stranger would kindly remind him. Thank you very much, I will be careful. Chen Shu expressed his deep gratitude to the man. The man nodded. The message that the second young master asked him to convey has been conveyed in place. It is up to Chen Shu to decide what to do next. Then I'll take my leave now and wish you good luck. The man turned and left with a smile. Chen Shu looked at the man's background thoughtfully. He is not worried about the He family now. In the next few days, Chen Shu did not waste any minute or second. He still persisted in completing the dungeon for eight hours a day. The moment the intermediate experience copy disappeared, Chen Shu's level had climbed to level 50, 80.07%. Ha ha ha, I've made a lot of money. I've been promoted to two levels in a month, and finally reached level 43. One of the archers yelled excitedly. He has been promoted twice in a month, which is definitely a gratifying thing for him. Brother, look, I have been promoted to level 3, directly from level 41 to level 44, be envious. A mage gently patted the archer's shoulder. His harvest was obviously more generous than the archer's. Ha ha, let's go back. After returning to Longdu, I want to have some fun and relax. That's right, this month has been really stressful. I keep spawning monsters every day. There was a buzz of people around the dungeon, and every professional had a happy smile on his face. In one month, everyone has gained something. As for those professionals who unfortunately died in the experience earning dungeon, they can only admit that they are unlucky. As long as you don't get greedy and choose the difficulty that suits your team, usually there won't be any mistakes. Chen Shu felt deeply tired at this moment. Brushing monsters eight hours a day for a month in a row was really unbearable psychologically. The isolation and loneliness of killing monsters alone. But the harvest is quite rich. Now that he has reached level 50, the last spell to counter damage has been activated. From then on, Chen Shu was no longer afraid of dueling with any mage. If a mage attacked him, he would definitely suffer higher damage in return. Among professionals, late-stage mages can be called perverts. Although mages have relatively low health and defense, their spell output capabilities are formidable. Warriors, archers, and thieves, who would add spiritual attributes. This makes their magic resistance relatively weak and unable to withstand the crazy bombing of mages. Yes, they can't resist the mages' indiscriminate bombardment. Chen Shu suddenly remembered at this moment that if hundreds or even thousands of magic monsters attacked him one after another, he would definitely be in trouble. A hundred times the damage may be extremely powerful in a duel. But if you encounter a group attack, the danger is quite high. This shortcoming must be solved. How to solve this problem? Perhaps only after the level is increased, various attributes will be greatly improved, and higher level weapons and equipment can be worn. In addition to these, you also need to acquire more abnormal additional skills. As long as he has comprehensive improvement, he will be fearless whether it is physical attack or magic attack. The crowd around the copy gradually dispersed, and the staff of the Professionals Association also left. When the dungeon was there, the staff of the Professionals Association still needed to maintain order, but now they can finally finish their work and go home. Should I go or not? Chen Shu watched the crowd gradually disperse and began to think deeply. Waiting passively and waiting for death seems too negative. 
take the initiative to look for the He family and look for opportunities in the wilderness to fight back. This group is the right choice. The feud with the He family has only officially begun now. He Zong wanted to put Chen Shu to death for Fang Hang, which involved a series of things. There may be a preliminary closure. After thinking about it, Chen Shu quietly left among the crowd and disappeared into the wilderness. He's study room. The communication bracelet on the old man's wrist flickered. The old man lowered his head to check. It turned out that it was a thief from the family who requested contact. What's the matter? After connecting the bracelet, the old man asked the thief coldly. Sir, Chen Shu disappeared after leaving the location of the instance. Your speed can't even keep an eye on him. The thief on the other end trembled, and after thinking for a moment, he said, Sir, Chen Shu was among the crowd. The environment was noisy at that time, and the crowd around him was crowded. When we followed up, we found that he had disappeared. Without a trace. Continue to search and be sure to search every inch of the surrounding land. The chance of Chen Shu breaking into Longdu is very small. If he hadn't left, he would have been hiding somewhere in the wild. As you command. After the communication was disconnected, the thief wiped the fine sweat from his forehead. The two thieves were timid. After all, their team had lost seven professionals above level 80. From the beginning of their awakening, these people experienced countless life and death tests before being promoted to levels above level 80. Now they all died at the hands of Chen Shu. If the two of them died in Chen Shu's hands, I would feel a little unwilling. What to do now? The two thieves began to consider, and their hearts began to calculate. Wherever Chen Shu is hiding, their goal is to find him. As long as there are any clues, they will report it immediately. As for whether they can attack Chen Shu, it doesn't matter to them. They will never take the initiative to attack Chen Shu. Even if they wear the blood lock badge, they are not willing to take this risk. However, Chen Shu did not wander around in the wild, but chose a necessary road to ambush the enemy. The professionals of the He family can hunt Chen Shu, and Chen Shu is also ready to wait and hunt the professionals of the He family. Time flies by as quietly as gurgling water. When night falls, the sky instantly becomes dark and lightless. Chen Shu held his nerves and waited quietly for the masters of the He family to show up, but in the end he failed. Faced with this situation, Chen Shu decided to do the opposite. Since the He family has launched a large-scale search outside the city, Chen Shu simply entered Longdu City and went to the He family to cause some damage. After dressing up a little, he galloped directly towards the city gate. Fortunately, Chen Shu successfully arrived at the gate of Longdu City before the city gate closed. Chen Shu activated the shadow skill without hesitation and easily avoided the strict investigation. As night falls, the stars shine brightly, casting a mysterious charm on this bustling city. Compared with the cities Chen Shu had visited, Longdu was more prosperous and attractive. The colorful lights are intertwined together, shining like countless pearls, creating an unforgettable beauty. In a chaotic era, as long as you have enough power, you can still enjoy the beauty that cannot be experienced elsewhere. As the capital of the Dragon Kingdom, many top families gather here. The area where Chen Shu is located shows nobility almost everywhere, and the living conditions are naturally far superior to other areas. Chen Shu walked across the street with vigorous steps. What we need to do today is to lurk in Dragon City instead of wandering aimlessly. A high-end hotel obviously does not meet his needs, which will be revealed once he enters. However, at this moment, a luxury car sped past and finally stopped in front of the mall ahead, that was, Longdu Mall. Hizan walked out of the car leisurely and walked slowly into Longdu Mall with two guards. Zero. This is undoubtedly an excellent opportunity. Chen Shu's face showed murderous intent, and his eyes flashed with excitement. At this time, two different thoughts appeared in his mind. How to deal with Hizan? Should we kill her directly, or capture her and take her away? Suddenly, Chen Shu remembered his physical characteristics after being digitally transformed. Any form of pain is just a waste of time for him, because it will only continue to deplete his health points. From this point of view, the only solution is to clear Hizan's health. The Longdu Mall is so dazzlingly magnificent, with a dazzling array of products, that even the most luxurious mall in Dongling City cannot come close to it. Chen Shu looked at those extremely attractive products, and a strong desire to buy them surged in his heart. 
However, reason eventually prevailed. He knew the purpose of this operation and it was not a suitable time for shopping. Chen Shu searched hard and finally found a Zan on the fourth floor. The fourth floor was crowded and there was no chance to make a move. Chen Shu is not a murderer who harms innocent people in order to kill his target. Time passed quietly. After He Zan stayed on the fourth floor for a while, she planned to go to the bathroom. The opportunity finally came, and Chen Shu certainly couldn't miss it. The two guards He Zan brought with him were stationed in front of the bathroom door. Chen Shu directly used the collision to knock one person unconscious, and then empty the blood tank of the other guard with several slashes. The knocked unconscious guard was eliminated with his backhand. The speed was so fast that He Zan in the bathroom was completely unaware of the surprising changes outside. Chen Shu carried the bodies of the two guards with both hands and slowly entered the women's restroom. He Zan was the only one in the bathroom, and she was applying makeup carefully in front of the mirror. Suddenly she saw Chen Shu rushing in with the body of the dead guard, and her face instantly turned pale as paper. You. Dot who are you? What do you want to do? He Zan stretched out her trembling fingers and pointed at Chen Shu. What do you think, Zan? Don't you despise me, a low-level commoner? Don't the He family want to kill me? Let your noble eldest daughter reunite with your ancestors of the He family today. You, are you Chen Shu? Please, Chen Shu, I was wrong. I bow my head to you and admit my mistake. As long as you don't kill me, the grudge between us will be wiped out. He Zan was so frightened that she fell to the ground and kept admitting her mistake to Chen Shu and begging for mercy. Chen Shu casually threw the guard's body on the ground, his eyes filled with murderous intent. Write it off with one stroke, Chen Shu said with a cruel smile. Wouldn't it be easier if I kill you, so that you can never come to me to settle accounts again? Don't worry, when you are completely dead, your immortal family will come down to accompany you. Wu Chen Shu, I don't want to die. I'm still so young. I'm a auxiliary professional. I was wrong. As long as you don't kill me, I can do whatever you ask me to do. At this time, the damage value on Hizan's head lit up, and only one point of blood was locked. HMPH, the military's blood locking badge is indeed well deserved. Your He family is really quite capable. Without any hesitation, Chen Shu quickly swung his sword. Hizan's blood tank was completely emptied, and her body fell weakly to the ground, becoming a cold corpse. Chen Shu withdrew the Yan Ling Dao filled with cold light, glanced at the three corpses on the ground, and turned away without hesitation. Where to go next? Chen Shu already has an answer in his mind. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.